Check one, two. Check one, two. Mike is good. All right. Anyway, hey Nuggets, welcome to the food truck. My name is Ruka, and today is my yearly. <laughs> uh, well, I guess not yearly at this point. I guess yearly at this point. I'm not even sure. I've, I've been streaming for about two and a half years, but that first year was a lot of Atelier games in a row. But I'm gonna say this is my yearly new Atelier game because the Gust comes out with an Atelier game every single year. Every single year without exception as far as I could tell. Since at least 20... Uh, 2000. I want to say 2000 or at least 1998. What was the first Atelier game? Actually, let me see. Atelier series. Atelier series. Um, first game of the Atelier series was released in 1997. Okay, so they released one in 1997 and then 1998, and they didn't release another one since until it's like 2001, and they've been releasing an Atelier game every year since 2001. Okay, so that's where the confusion is. I know they release an Atelier game every single year, but they did skip a year which is 1999. For some reason, they skipped 1999. Maybe maybe they skipped it because uh, the the 1998 release was like in December. So I think it would have been like too soon to re to release a new one. So they did they did it in 2001 instead. No, they also skipped 2000. 1999 and 2000 uh, was like no Atelier Atelier releases, and then it's like every single year since then Atelier release of some sort, of some sort. Like, it's either a new game or, like, a uh, side game or something like that. 2000 was Marie on the Game Boy Color. Uh, G game Boy, yeah. Ellie was also 2000. I guess just 1999. Just 1999. There was no Atelier game. Hey, Bison, welcome. Okay. So, I guess it's going to be Stream Elements chat for a very, very long time. I'm just going to say Stream... Not Stream Elements. Uh, stream Labs chat is going to be the one I'm going to be using until until I'm convinced that Stream Elements is actually alive. <laughs> Stream Elements chat just does not work, want to work with me. It just does not this year. Anyway, but yeah, uh, lots of Atari games in, in the past 25-ish years, I guess, yeah. I, I, as far as Gus has been alive, they've been making Atari games every year. This year is no exception. So, today, uh, we're going to do a little quick unboxing before we do the game, and I don't know how long the unboxing is going to take, so I am going to start that relatively quick, because I want to get into the game, and I feel like the unboxing is going to take maybe 30 minutes to an hour. I don't know why, but it just feels like it's going to take that long. So, let me switch over to... Uh, to our live cam, our hand cam uh, scene, and then we'll get to to the unboxing bit. So let's see, where is it? Uh, where's my button? Okay, right this one. All right. So I'm gonna move over the camera, just as like we do with our regular stuff, and turning off the noise gate. So it's gonna get a little noisy. Okay, camera is moving. Uh, Mike is also now unleashed to full capacity, and so you can actually hear hear me. But yeah, uh, so today we're gonna do a unboxing for a game. I don't think I've ever done an unboxing on stream before. Uh, I've done plenty of of unboxings off stream, just not on stream. I guess that could make some sort of sense, right? Right, I feel like that some sort of, makes some sort of sense. So today, uh, so this is the limited edition. Well, I say limited edition, but it's the premium box for Ryza 3 for the Switch. I think all of the premium boxes are pretty much the same kind of style. Um, but this one is specifically for the Switch because I originally got this for the Switch. It's my only console. <laughs> and. I think if I were to like install it, it, it would be this one. So here we, uh, before we open this one though, let me show you my other boxes really quick. 
Uh, I have gotten other limited edition collector boxes before for the Atelier series. I don't think this is all of them. I feel like I'm missing a few. I feel like I'm missing a few that I have gotten. It's just I don't have them with me for some reason. Either I stored them uh, elsewhere or I just didn't bring them with me. So it would have been stored elsewhere. But for as, as far as related to the series, so here is the, the Ryza, the first Ryza game, limited edition. Um, it's, a, it's a much smaller box than what this one is, but it's also, I guess, a little bit bulkier, if you, if you look at it this way. It's, a, it's, it's quite a bit bigger sideways, <laughs> but it is, it is a smaller box-wise, right? Um, but a lot, before, before uh, I think, before and I, uh, Nippon Ichi America um, switched to these styles of boxes, I feel like they're the ones who, who, who switched to these styles of boxes, because there was, um, I feel like, uh, yeah, there was a time that they didn't do this. They were all like sort of these, these style, these smaller ones. I'm also missing one box. Hold up. Hold up. Okay. Forgot there was one more box that was um, in the corner. I do have one more limited edition box, but it's not Atelier, so we're not going to pull that one out. It's a blue reflection one. But for Atelier Ryza specifically, uh, here we have the original, the first uh, the first game, for the first game, the limited edition for the first game. Pretty, pretty small, pretty simple, but it's also packed with a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, we're not going to go through that. We'll go through the Ryza 3 one, though. And here is the limited edition 42nd game. So I think this, I'm not sure if this is where they started doing the, the bigger size boxes like, like this one, but definitely a bigger size box than before with pretty, pretty good art um, on the front and the back. Also, also packed with a bunch of stuff. And then if we're talking about all the other Atelier, um, what do you call it? other Atelier games. I have like a book of CDs and stuff of the old ones, but we're just looking at boxes for now. So this is the Sophie 2 limited edition box from last year also. It came, I think it came out the same year as Ryza 2, if I'm not mistaken. But we got Sophie 2 here. And pretty fancy, I guess, limited edition right there on the side. Right there on the side. These usually come with a few things, like I think they come with an art book, uh, maybe a CD, I'm not entirely sure if they still do CDs, but they used to come with a CD, an art book, and some sort of tapestry, one of those two. And let's go further back a little bit, let's go further back a little bit. So I think this was one of the earlier uh, limited editions I got. I feel like I got one before this one also, I just don't have it with me. But this is uh, Shally from the, the Dust series. As you can see, this is not quite as big of a box uh, compared to the other ones here. It's kind of closer to what the Ryzen one is, but it's also a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller. The same goes with this uh, Sophie box. The first Sophie game box was also about the same size as the Shally box. I'm not sure when the boxes started getting bigger and bigger, but for some reason, as the series keep, <laughs> series goes, uh, these box, these limited edition boxes have got, gotten bigger and bigger. This one, though, you will notice is not opened uh, because this is the limited edition for uh, limited edition uh, Atelier Sophie box for the PS4, and I did not have a PS4, but. Um, I think at the time, uh, at the time I got this, I was heavily into the PlayStation Vita, I believe. So I played it on the Vita, but I think I downloaded the game for the Vita uh, through the Play Store. Um, but I still wanted a physical edition of the the box. So this is what this is what I got. I got the the, the Sophie box, never been opened. So as far as I as far as I can tell you, this is mint condition. So I don't know what's in it, uh, but there's probably a catalog out there somewhere that shows uh, what's in this thing. But yeah, uh, let's see. So there is that. 
set that aside really quick. And so this is from the Dusk series, this is from the Mysterious series, and going back into the Mysterious series. So this is the first game of the Mysterious series. I got Ferris. I, I got Ferris for both the Vita and this and Steam. Um, but I never actually got the limited edition for Ferris. I think at the time I just felt like I just didn't want to buy it because there was a bunch of issues. <laughs> There's a bunch of issues with the Mysterious series as a series as a whole, but this is the last one of the Mysterious series over here. Uh, Lydia and Sue, that's the third, uh, the third game of that trilogy, which is also another, which I think is when they, the boxes started getting a little bit bigger. I think that's when the boxes started getting a little bit bigger, and that's also, that's also the same size as the, the Rise of Boxes here. But this one is for the Switch, and it's got pretty... Pretty good art uh, all throughout here. The boxes also also feel like a premium quality, premium quality box, right? It's premium quality box. And then after that, we have also the Atelier Lulua. Um, I think I need to zoom out just a tiny, uh, just a bit here. No, that's as much as I can zoom out. Okay, that's as much as I can zoom out. Right. All right. So, and then we have the Atelier Lulua, which is like the fourth game in the Arland series. Uh, quite a bit more plain compared to the other boxes. Uh, not as much going on, but then that's because that's, you know, that's just an artist difference as far as I can tell. But they're all really pretty, right? They're all really beautiful as far as the design, boxes design goes. Um, also, same size as the, the Ryza boxes and the Lulu, the... The, the third mysterious box and I'm just looking at <laughs> I'm just looking at this like what's up with this uh, serial escalation of box sizes and whatnot to the point where we we get to this to the point where we get to like actual gigantic boxes like this what's, what's even the point on this increasing the size of this <laughs> I'm, I'm not entirely sure but anyway um, that's a quick overview on what I do have on hand, but for today we are gonna go look through the uh, The Rise of 3 box before we go into the game itself. The plastic film is very reflective <laughs> So I need to do this really quick um, And cut the cut the film uh, Before before I dox myself <laughs> But okay front I don't know which one's the front of the box, but this is where the seam is for, there's a, there's a gap here. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna have to open it this way. So we're gonna go through the back of the box first, which is a, a very nice art of like everyone and I think what the place we're gonna be looking at in the game itself. Um, nothing I think in particular on the sides except for the yeah, so KT Gust, tech, uh, Koei Tecmo Gust, and the, uh, what do you call this? Um, Koei Tecmo Gust, and also this is sold through the Nippon Ichi America store for some reason. For, for some reason, ever since, um, if, ever since uh, Nisa um, stopped localizing the Atelier games, because that transferred from Nisa to Koei Tecmo, for the localization and stuff. They still sell the limited editions. I'm not entirely sure why. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why. There's, there's, there's a deal there that I'm not familiar with. But um, yeah, so if you ever like see an announcement for a Taylor game and you ever want to get a limited edition box, um, you can find that on Nip, uh, on the Nisa store, the Nippon Ichi store, the same people that release the Disgaea series and like, and since this guy isn't really doing anything these days, the other games, the thumbnail, <laughs> uh, yeah, the thumbnail. I use that. I use that art from last year too. So uh, we're just reusing stuff, basically. <laughs> I think it still fits, though. At least for the Rise of series, it still fits. Uh, but yeah. So this is the back. So, so this is the back, and this is the front. This is the front that you saw on the community post with the. Honestly. This, I think Ryza in this game, as far as the art is concerned, is a lot, um, 
is a lot, what do you call this? A lot more conservative compared to what she used to look like, right? Uh, like, I, th I think we can agree over here in the first game, she looks very tomboyish. Well, I guess kind of tomboyish. A little bit tomboyish and also very teenagery. I think, I think basically, because I mean, this 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 base this this entire series is her, uh, I guess, coming of age story, growing up story, whatever whatever you want to call it. But she definitely looks a whole lot younger here compared to here, where she's definitely much more mature. She did also mature up a little bit from the first game to the second game, quite a bit actually, if you if you think about it, um, in all in all senses. But even compared to the second game to the third game, uh, she still looks quite a bit different. I mean, her her outfit is still you know it's it's still more conservative uh, compared to <laughs> compared to when she started. Uh, but this is even more so conservative compared to how she used to be. Beautiful. Anyway, let's go ahead and open this and see what we have here. I think I'm pretty sure. I have an idea what's in here, and I think I saw it also in the the Nisa store. It's just you know, I want to see it for myself. I want to see it for myself. All right, so let's get rid of that. All right, so opening, and it doesn't look like there's a whole lot. <laughs> there's not a whole lot for this entire space. And if you look at the box over here, uh, depending on which for which uh, system you get this. I think it's going to be like a little bit, there's going to be like something here. This is the the case for the switch and there is a code here in the back I am not going to show because that is actually well, I'll show you that I'll show you the art. I'll show you the art. So this is like I think a downloadable um, this is a downloadable outfit for like a uh, what do you call it? A DLC I guess a DLC thing but there's a code there, and that's for me, and not for you. <laughs> not for you. But this is for the Switch. That, that's the case for the Switch. And so underneath all this stuff is everything else that, um, that they have for the, for the limited edition. So you get a little nice acrylic uh, keychain. I'm probably never going to use the acrylic keychains. I've used, I've used like, like one acrylic keychain before. And I was disappointed to find out that the this the the paint on the acrylic, uh, like it rubs off very easily. So I, ever since then, I've told myself, nope, I will never use these again. They're nice to look at, and that is it. Uh, I would never use them like in a backpack or anything like that. It's just it's just a no. <laughs> it's just no. But they, they, it is it is pretty nice. It is pretty nice to look at though. So. There's that. Um, oh yeah, we'll look at this one also later. But you also get the art book, which is pretty pretty neat. You, you always get you always you usually get some sort of art book with these uh, limited editions. Um, I guess this one's all in Japanese, so this is a Japanese art book. Um, the the table of contents in Japanese, the text is in Japanese. Yeah, all the all the commentary here is in Japanese. So even if I wanted to read this, I cannot. <laughs> I cannot, but it has all the, the concept art in here and all that stuff, which they all look really nice. Really nice. How long? Okay. We've gone 20 minutes in. Okay, we got a little bit of time. We got a little bit of time. I want to cap this uh, unboxing portion to like maybe 45 minutes to an hour at the most, because if, if we go past that, I won't have enough time to game. Um, yeah, it seems like at least the, for the main cast that's gone through the the first part of the series, they leveled up a lot in design. Okay, so we do have someone coming back from the from the second game here. Those spoilers. Okay, okay. So people from the first game, I don't know if we'll actually be able to use them. Probably not. We do have a new kind of character coming from the first game over here. You'll see him later. Um, but this guy has gone through. I think even more of a character arc than uh, Ryza ever has in, in the first three games. And also we got a few other new people, it seems. So yeah, I'll tell me a little bit of spoilers from the cast, but I don't think that's too big of a spoiler. It just, um, just makes me a little bit more curious on what we're gonna get ourselves into. And 
and also they have um, the, I guess, concept art models for the NPCs too, which is kind of nice. Also the, the backgrounds. Backgrounds are always nice in this game. Uh, not always nice in the series in general, but more so in the, in the, mo in the recent trilogy, as well as any newer games uh, under the new engine that they've, they've been using. All right, so we're gonna open this in a bit, but we also get, I think this is a clear file. I honestly don't understand clear files much, but hey, yeah, I guess if you ever wanna use this, now you have a, like a, what do you call it? A really nice um, folder to put your stuff in. I do have one clear file I'm using for some documents, but nothing that I would want to like keep pristine and, and stuff like that. So we got that. I'm gonna put some of these back really quick. Put some of them back really quick. Oh, that's for later. That's for later. So let's look at this uh, tapestry, because it's like clearly the biggest thing. It's like folded uh, so many ways. And I'm not gonna remember how many ways it's gonna be. How to refold this. This is just a tapestry, a really, a pretty good uh, quality tapestry. I don't think it's that big. Pretty good quality tapestry of uh, the, the art that you see on the front of the box and some promotional stuff. Okay, let's put this off the, <laughs> the box. It just looks weird on there. So it's, it's, just a, it's just a bigger version of this, but you can hang it. They don't give you anything to hang it, so that's up to you to find stuff to how to hang it or frame it even, if that's you that's what you want. I am trying to figure out. I've never been able to figure out how to like get rid of the creases though. So if anyone knows how to get rid of these creases on these things, let me know, because I, I I've 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 had that issue ever since the first time I got a limited edition, and I would like to know how to how to make it not look so creasy. Right, I would like to know how how to make not make it look so creasy. But here we have the um, the art in in tapestry form, I'm, and this is this would be nice to display in like a a nice display room if you if you have that kind of um, thing. So that is a quick rundown of the. Ryza 3 limited edition box. It looks like we didn't get a what do you call this? Um, looks like we didn't get a CD or any kind. I guess because CDs aren't really a thing anymore. So instead of getting a CD, you, you do you don't really get a CD these days. But they I think they used to do that. But in any case, you don't really need it. You don't you don't really need one because in the game itself, uh, typically you can. Typically, you can just buy the entire um, Atelier series, like the entire, entire Atelier series, OST, soundtrack, and all that stuff. So it's like, yeah, <laughs> don't don't need a CD if you can just listen li listen to the music and through the game itself, right? So that's basically what that is. But yep. Uh, oh crap! I should actually put that thing in back into its. Film. That's good. this is gonna be the tough part. Like, how the heck do you do this? I have no idea. But it feels really nice, though. I'm not sure what the the material is. Um, it's I'm not sure what the material is, but it's a f pretty high thread count, I think. And for anyone who's an expert in this kind of thing, I am not. But it looks uh looks fairly high quality. The sheen's pretty high quality, it seems. Let me go ahead and put this back in. If I can, uh, it's always a pain in the butt to try to do this. Always a pain in the butt. Ah. Okay, there's gotta be an easier way, easier way to do this. Mm. Get squish, squish. Okay, but it's not perfect, but it'll do. There we go. That works. That works. Alright, and now that's the box itself is just gonna be on display somewhere in my room. Um, but yeah, I hope that 
that was enjoyable and informative to some people. Uh, I've never done an unboxing before, so I don't really know what people look for in these kinds of things. But this one is going to go into my Switch at some point, as well as the code. So I'm going to close this up and we're going to go back into the chatting room. I'm going to have to clear all this other stuff out. <laughs> But now we do, now I have the now I have all three um, limited editions for the Rise of the series. I think this is the first time I have a complete set of limited editions for a trilogy. I feel like I don't. I think I feel like I didn't do that before. I was it was kind of like on and off before because these things are expensive. These are expen these are expensive. Please understand. <laughs> Please understand how expensive these things are. Um, and I am supposedly quote unquote myself self-proclaimed Atelier fanboy. So for me not to have a full limited edition of everything is um, a little bit of <laughs> I don't know. It's it's just not something that's easy to do. It's not easy. Some it's not really easy to do. There is a there is a grandma on YouTube who's also really, really into the Atelier series. I think it's like one of the series that she has, that she's fallen in love with uh, as she has learned more about gaming and stuff. And she has a bigger collection than I do, 100%. <laughs> she has a much bigger collection than I do. I don't know where she finds this stuff, but she's found it and she's probably paid a, paid a premium for, for some of it, because some of it's hard to find uh, by the time she actually got into it. So it was very hard to find since she got into it. Anyway, we're gonna leave this scene and I'm gonna go back to to the to the desk. And we are gonna get started with the, the game itself. So <clears throat> Okay. Noise get on. Connect the camera back. Connect the camera back. And I guess I'll use the Xbox. I think I think I'll use the X. Oh, what was that? Oh, I think I'll use the Xbox controller for the um for the game itself. So we are gonna switch over to the to the game screen, and we'll get the game started here. I haven't seen the the opening uh the the opening for this game yet so that's gonna be a surprise for all of us not e not even on youtube so let's see where is it what did i put oh it's all the way up here it starts with a of course it would be up there all right uh did oh maybe it would help if i actually had this on game capture too hold up it's like you did not try to set this up ahead of time, did you? No, you did not. You did not. Oh, I'm gonna have to like also turn off the the full screen. Hold up. Hold up. All right, I'm gonna have to also shrink myself here a little bit because it's too it's too much. It's too much. game let's move everything else first yeah so as soon as i can get this out of full screen i'm going to do that though they haven't been showing the opening since uh sophie 2 right away so maybe they'll wait a little bit before they do that yep they're gonna wait a little bit before they do that okay Let's uh, let's change this up a little bit, because I did not do anything with the graphics setting. Resolution, window setting, uh, borderless, full screen, default, what's the default? Full screen, borderless? Where's window mode? Yeah. Oh, this is borderless, uh, hmm. How about default? Okay, good. Good. I don't like...
Okay, uh, for some reason, OBS decided that it wanted to shut down really quickly. I'm not entirely sure why, but I'm going to try to get that screen back up really quick. i try to get that back up. Okay, now we're back. Now we're back. Should be... we should be good to go here. Just making sure YouTube catches up. Yep, okay. Alright, so window mode. Should have done this sooner. Um, it says there's a prologue movie, but I feel like we're gonna see it in the, the game itself. But let's go ahead and watch it anyway and see if, um... See if there's anything I'm missing. And we might see it again. So, just be aware. Just be aware. Let's try it. You can view the summary of the previous games. Uh, this section contains a lot of content related. Sure, why not? So they started doing this back in Sophie too, and I'm kind of glad they did because you know if you don't, um, if you just kind of jump into it and wonder if if I should play the previous games, probably don't have to. So it's nice that they do the summary thing uh, since at least Sophie do. We'll do that. I'm gonna shrink myself again. Man, that was a while back. ラーゼンボーデンって言う。なんてことない日々を送っていた私は初めての冒険で大切な友達と錬金術に出会った。アンペルさんたちのところに押しかけて錬金術や本のこと。戦い方を教えてほしいってお願いしたんだっけ。いや、でもプリマシキッズバックだ。それから新しく友達になったクラウディアも一緒に隠れ家を作ることにしたんだ。みんなで材料を集めて森の中にあった廃屋を直して私た
大切なものに気づくことができたから Okay, first game summary. So I think they went, they're gonna take like about five minutes each one. Three years later. <laughs> Three years later after the first one. Okay. レンキン術の研究に行き詰まってた私は、タオからの手紙とモリッツさんに頼まれた謎の石の調査をきっかけに、ショイニーエッグ。リラさんと同じ王連族で異界を浄化するための手がかりを探してたセリさん。掛け替えのない仲間と謎の石から生まれた妖精。フィートの出会いだった。王との周辺には錬金術に関係する遺跡が眠っている。今はもう失われた伝
After 40 something minutes, I think it's time to get started in this. Let's do it. I like the transitions though. A little keyhole thing going on. Looks-looks like the water effect still is not that great. <laughs> uh, alright. Well, uh, we'll give you that. I guess she's back in her hometown. And there's some new stuff here that was not there before. I'm gonna have to adjust the, the audio too, I forgot about that. Hey, we got Tao, and what's your name again? Bose? The one person who went through a lot. <laughs><笑> Vacation? <laughs> uh, everything happens during summer, apparently. <笑>怪しい島の偵察に駆り出されるとか帰る前は想像もしなかったねこれぞライザって感じあんたたち私を何だと思ってるわけトラブルよトラブル何そうだなとんでもないことを呼び込む大変なやつってところかいい線に答え
After attacking. Okay, so I gotta attack first. Okay, so I hope. I guess I can only attack once? Alright. Oh, we got a chain. Use X and Y. Okay, so I gotta use both. I see. Okay, and then the tactics level... Ah. Alright, so there's this other meter down here that shows how strong my skills can go. Okay, so there's a lot more stuff going on here battle-wise than the second one. I like what they did with the second one. I think this one might be a little bit complicated, not gonna lie. This might be a little complicated. That's all the tutorial? Oh no. Okay. So I gotta watch out for the, the enemy's uh, bar here. And guard. Okay, you're not you're not targeting me. Okay, how how can my combo go? Oh, okay. So there's a little cooldown for the for the guarding. So if I guard at the wrong time, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna hurt. I'm gonna hurt. Okay, maybe I have to shrink myself just a tiny bit more. But basically, there is a ring around the the AP AP meter, and it goes down as I use skills, and it charges back up until my turn comes back up. All right, let me move myself a little bit. I feel like it might might be too big for this. So we're gonna be tiny. <laughs> この近くじゃ見たことない魔物だね。いや、ラスルで。ハイザー大丈夫？今の戦いで怪我はしてないよね。さっき言ってた調子が悪いってやつか？Didn't even get touched at all. わかっただけでも収穫は収穫だ。上がって。あまないな。あ、こいつらでは先に進むのは危険すぎる。まずは帰って報告すべきだろうな。すまない。いや、お前は立派に役目を果たした。怪我の方は責任を持って面倒を見る。ライザ。だと。ブルネンケの跡取り
Let me gather some stuff along the way. And I'm not gonna be able to get those just yet. Here's the thing, though. The day before? We're doing a little flashback already? だから、水色から遠くても淡水化装置があれば as at this time. What's the problem? <laughs><笑>驚いたな。ライザが来ろうと損壊でやり合ってるよ。あの悪ガキが随分偉くなったもんだね。父さんやランバーが言うには村でも何かと頼りにされてるそうだ。まったく。あの悪ガキがな。<
but I'm not sure how much backward support we can get. Because we can only control so much. <laughs> we can only control so much. And I would like to, I would like to see more Mana Kamea style uh, battle systems, but Let's see if we ever get that again. Uh, autoplay. Where's the autoplay? もう先に物見を出した意味はあったようだ。そ、それよりボス。本当に怪我はないんだろうな。お前はこの頃から強がりだから。エクセス、タイミー。お父さん、心配するのは俺じゃなくて、もうすぐ島に来る攻撃戦
Display subtitles, yes. Yeah, display subtitles. Control type. Controller, keyboard and mouse, controller, I see. Tip display, show once, cursor speed, save order? Ah, okay, that's, that's something else. Let's see, anything else I'm missing here? Camera. Camera should be okay. Graphics. Probably not as intensive as Dyson Sphere, so <laughs> I think uh, we can leave we can leave most of this stuff up and unless I notice I'm stuttering on the on the stream. Okay, I'll, Ryza, how the heck do you only have 260 cash if uh, you know you've been working the past several years? You taking your fine? Are you taking care of your finances, girl? I, I don't think she is. Battle prep, Tao. Right. I mean, also, what the happened to all the equipment I gave you guys way back when? <laughs> what happened to that equipment? You, I understand. You don't have any good equipment because I didn't give you any. You weren't with us until this game. Which, by the way, congratulations on finally being a party member, Bose. Also, you, Ryza. Where's all the stuff you used to have? There's no reason why... <laughs> There's no reason why you should be back to zero with all that stuff. There's there's no explaining this. There's no explaining the the discontinuity of um, not having all the equipment she used to have. <laughs> and the levels too. And the levels. Minimap. Okay, so what is this? Ah, main quest? Uh question marks, I guess. Can I oh, we are going to have a lot of places to explore. I wonder if there's mostly places that we've been to already. So, uh, yeah, there's the crew. Yeah, this is pretty much all the same places as uh, the previous game. Though, it is extending west quite a bit. We've never been this far west, so we are... Oh, and some stuff south? Oh, yeah, this is much bigger... Um, than the first game. Also, possibly the second game. Possibly the second game. That looks good on stream. Is there anything here? Okay, there's nothing that I can knock down from this tree, it looks like. Anything on the beach? I should be able... No, no, yeah, I was looking for ingredients on the beach. Let's try to see if we can get some, like, seashells or something. Landmarks in the field. Discovering a landmarks increases the information. Okay. Some people might also might need that for... What do you call this? Um, for, like, learning and stuff. Visiting famous places! Yeah! This was our hideout from the first game. How is the old hideout? Can we actually go in? Oh, we can actually go in. Ah, oh, man. We're back. <laughs> We're back. With all our stuff that we can't use for some reason. Man, everything is here. Everything from the first game is back here. And the, uh, this place that's... For some reason, always empty. I'm not sure if we actually had anything here. Seems like there's a lot of fuss all over the place. Uh, looks like Father's in trouble too. I'll be helping out if I can. Okay. Unprecedented that for those islands to pop out of nowhere. Right. Islands don't just pop out of nowhere to begin with, so... But it's kind of nice to be able to come back here. Though the, the door transition, that's um... That's something I wasn't expecting. Also, can I get these watermelons? I cannot. It seems I can I can do some ship damage to the He has lost weight. He has lost weight. <laughs> he has lost weight. You on the other hand. You on the other hand. Um you've been gaining some 
meet in certain places. Is this an outdoor onsen? We had an outdoor onsen? Since when? I don't remember having an onsen last game. No, two games ago? Maybe I just never got it. Since when did we have an onsen back there? It's tiny, but it's still an onsen. Here's our garden that we kind of sort of used. I mean, it was sort of useful. Do we have to go to the forest? I'm pretty sure there's some stuff here. Alright, that's our landing spot. Uh, what's we'll to the left. So, can I go to the right, or do I have to go to the left? I think I have to go to the left. But, I'm going to see if I can go to the right. Oh, there's a pond here. I could have sworn there was a place I could go to through here. Maybe, maybe, I'm, mis maybe I'm misremembering things. Maybe there's a different spot. Oh yeah, that's a different spot. Uh, where is that forest? Actually. I know there's like a spot over here. Probably, probably best avoid this place for now. Right, okay, fine, I couldn't explore. I'm still very confused about the onsen though, because I don't remember ever putting one down. But apparently, there was one. I just never got it. Okay, two entrances, it looks like. No, what's over here? Oh, that's a vine! That's a vine. Ever since, uh, Ryza was... <clears throat> ever since Ryza was able to, like, climb, swim, and all that stuff in the second game, Sophie was also able to do it, too. And I'm kind of guessing that's going to be a recurring thing uh, in future games, which I do not mind one whatsoever. I also don't mind the collection system here. It's not bad. It's not. It's not the worst thing. Probably a little bit more. Probably a little bit better than the the whole. Um, oh, I'm gonna need. Some, can I? Oh, can she fit through there? <laughs> She's gonna do this fitting thing again. I don't think I remember this spot. Is there anything here? There is nothing here, but I'm pretty sure we'll find something here later. We just can't- we just don't have anything here yet. <coughs> if anything, this just serves as a tutorial to say, yes, she can fit through tight spaces. She can fit through tight spaces. Oh, I guess there's a distance to the goal. I'm not sure why we need that. But there it is now. Okay, so we have... So grab some mushrooms. And other stuff. Looks like you're grabbing it. Her collecting animation is a little bit different now, too. Is this rocks? Let's see. Nuts. Oh no, this is a nut. No. <laughs> Uni! The perennial plant of the entire series. I'm guessing we can't do anything with this yet, if at all. I know we I know we used to be able to gather stuff from that, but not maybe not these days. <laughs> Gather herbs, medicinals. I'm just gonna grab everything I can. Uh, we do have a basket limit, as per tradition. Ryza, what happened? What happened to? Actually, we have a basket. No, we do. Okay, we do. Right. We we always had a basket limit. Even even in this series, we have a basket limit. Casually destroying nature, that's what we do. <laughs> I think there was a... I think there was a... Um, an art... thing I saw a while back. <laughs> Let me gather more! Let me gather more! I'm gonna gather everything. 
Oh, I can just run and gather? Oh, that's interesting. That makes things so much easier. That's uh, not, not easier, but faster. So it's like you can just kind of like run and gun it to, to gather um, stuff. Nice. Usually you would just have to stop, stop and uh, pick stuff up, but she's not even waiting anymore. She's like, nope, I'm just grabbing it. <laughs> I'm just grabbing. Can I, can we grab this and the water? Uni, okay. I love how what they did with the. I love what they did with that. Okay, can, okay. She cannot grab ledges. Uh, that's still a thing that she needs to learn, apparently. <laughs> I don't think she. I don't think she was able to swim um, in the first game, so she definitely learned that from last time. Also, it's a little choppy. It's a little choppy even on my end. Maybe we might have to like tone it down a little bit. Uh, let's see graphics. Bloom. I don't think we need bloom. What if I turn bloom off? Usually, bloom is uh, the one thing you do not want to keep on in any game. Uh, it's still a little, it's still a little choppy here. I'll just keep it on, unless it starts really affecting the, unless it starts really affecting things. Hi, hi, keep it high. Yeah, it's, it's very choppy, probably because there's a bunch of um, fog or something. Maybe I can adjust that a little bit more. Death of feel, this is probably what's holding it back. And nope. Nope, it's not. What if I change it? What, what, what if I change everything to medium? What if I change it to medium? Standard. Oh, much smoother. It also looks smoother on screen on stream too. You know what? This ain't bad. This ain't bad. Let's let's just keep it on standard. I don't I don't think we have to have everything like churned up all the way. It's nice. Fired notes on entering the forest. Many things are written in Traveler's Memoirs. Uh, also point to certain places. Okay, so I guess if we check everything and ev anything and everything, we get hints on on how to access new places. Okay, that's a little different. So it looks like the main thing that got turned off was a bunch of fog here. Looks like we turned off a bunch of fog. If it's just mainly fog, just mainly fog. Volumetric fog. Level of detail from the distance. What? If, okay, so let's do high and uh, standard for for um, distance. Water isn't really that detail, so maybe maybe not a, too bad. Yeah, it's a little bit. It's not quite as smooth as standard. Maybe we do standard and then slowly... Slowly increase stuff. Yeah, this is very smooth though. This is very smooth. I'm just gonna keep gathering until, uh... Until I can't gather anymore. It's like game. If you want me to stop gathering, you're gonna have to stop me forcibly. Oh, I can't gather this. Oh, I can't gather the big mushroom. I need the axe for that. This is the exact same layout as the as the first game. They didn't change anything with the layout here. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it does make things familiar for if you're already familiar with the first game. Like. Anyone who's played the first game will definitely know um, most of the stuff around here. And I, I guess kind of sort of uh, where things are, but this is like low level stuff. But you know, it, it doesn't hurt to have like a healthy stock 
of things early on. Uh, you never know what you're going to need, and you can always, like, switch them out later. Okay, that's too far. Apparently that's too far. Alright, we're gonna go back now. It's like, game, if you want me to stop gathering, uh, you're gonna have to stop me forcibly, and that's what and that's what we're doing. <laughs> that's what we're doing. You I still love it that she can just grab and uh, collect at the same time. As long as she's not swinging the staff, she can just grab and collect at the same time. That's nice. Anything on this? Oh, I see a treasure chest, actually. Let's go grab that. Why was that twirl? Why was that twirl? Okay, there's only butt fruit here. There's only peaches. Oh, she got wet. Okay, she doesn't have she doesn't have the same issue in this game as she did in the second game as far as getting wet. Uh, the, the the water physics, not water physics, but the water effects after she got wet in the second game, uh, whether it be raining or she took a dip in the water, um, revealed some stuff that I don't think anyone expected back then. <laughs> but these uh, right now, it's not do it's not showing as much. I guess it's either a thicker material or that's Sony for you. Sony censoring. Not even for local, that's just for everyone in general. That's why you don't get scenes like you do from the first blue reflection anymore. Sony has gone crude. Can we get this? Nope. We need a hammer for that. <laughs> we need a hammer for that one. That's too big to just smash with your, your staff, apparently. Alright, did I get everything? Did I get everything, everything that I could get? Yeah, it looks like it. No enemies here? At least they're not gonna show up anytime soon. How do I... Okay, so she can dash. I, f I keep forgetting she can dash. Because, I mean, her walking... Her run, her regular walking speed is pretty, pretty good. <laughs> At least her dash now seems uh, a little bit more natural compared to the uh, to the previous games. Uh, at least her dash is a lot more natural compared to any other previous game's dashes, uh, if they existed. Because it's like, woo! It's like really, really fast. Just basically uh, running, walking, running, um, turned up to 10. And here it actually looks like a run with an actual speed of a Yay! And a different alchemy menu than before. Okay, this probably is still gonna work the same way as last time. So there's gonna be some looping that we can do for for the synthesis. That I think this is baked into the alchemy for for this for this uh, trilogy. But let's just see how this one works, right? Recipes over there this time, as always. Grass beans. All right, you're only gonna let me make this. Material loops, okay, will be displayed. All right, so I guess looping is gonna be a thing still, in a way, one way or another. Each material loop has a specific type. Yada yada yada. Okay, elements to materials. Yep. Ingredients also have elements, same elements in the material loop, uh, right? So just accumulate elements. Uh, when a certain number of elemental values are accumulated, material loop will be leveled up and become more effective, right? So you get more traits, have more effects on an item, the more of an element you keep getting. Uh, kind of hard at the beginning, but once you get better ingredients, it'll be a lot easier. Core ingredient loop. What? Uh, let's see. Material loop in which ingredients can be added from the beginning is called core ingredients. Okay, so we need certain ingredients before we can make the thing. <coughs> I wonder why they went with this presentation instead of like a top down. It's kind of like um, 
angled top down. I don't, I don't know what you call that. Isometric? Okay. All right. So let's just let's just try this uh, new system out. But I don't think it's gonna work any differently than the previous two games. If you are already familiar with that. Okay. So I don't think it. Few bonus healing bonus. I don't think I need to worry too much about the traits this early. Oh, I definitely don't want to use the ton though. The ton is going to be for later. So let's just use the cheap stuff. Just use the cheap stuff. Okay, so now that we have all the minimum items we need for the recipe, uh, you can do whatever you want from here on out to improve the item or, you know, uh, just end it if you're fine with just the base stuff but this is a th if for anyone who's not familiar with the atelier series the main core of the entire series is this item crafting bit um the item crafting is going to be a little bit different from one game to another and from one trilogy to another it's going to be very different but the ways you can customize your items how effective they are the traits you put on them the quality of your items that is <laughs> that is all atelier that is all Atelier, and that is the main core. The better you, you are at doing this, the stronger you will be. Not from leveling up. Or not necessarily from fighting leveling up, because fighting, gathering ingredients, I'll give you the stuff you need to do alchemy, and the more you do alchemy, the stronger you will be, literally, overall. So just keep that in mind. Now that we have all the base, you can start synthesizing. Press. Press the start button, I guess, to start synthesizing. Let's boost the item from here. You can add ingredients until the quantity reaches zero. Okay, so there's a quantity thing up on the very top. <coughs> that's, a, that's a Ryza thing. Um, as she gets better at this, then she can add more items to, to, that, to, the in, to the recipe and make it better that way. So, but she starts off with a lower cap, so that'll increase as we go. Trait loop, okay. Important for other traits, yeah. Transfer traits allow you to transfer traits, right? Unlocking trait loops, adding materials, yep. So this is the same as the previous two games. Add stuff uh, for, with same elements, like, um... Let's try it again. Oh, we're gonna do all the way from the beginning, I see. <clears throat> basic flow is synthesis. All right. So basic flow. Add. Oh, you, you want me to start synthesizing? No, I'm not gonna start synthesizing just yet. But like, I think what they want me to do here is add the minimum amount of stuff. So that's going to unlock these, or should have unlocked those, because this one only like needs a one wind element, and we have one wind element too now. It's not unlocking, probably because they don't want us to do this for the for the tutorial just yet. Okay, all right. So we got this. Increasing quality, not really a priority right now. Um, this trade cures some. Um, uh, this this loop over here cures some uh, status ailments, which I don't think we'll have it good enough uh, materials for anyway. Yeah, I don't think we'll have enough to even do it, any of these, so we're not going to worry about that. I think the best thing we can do is trait slot, so that way we can transfer some stuff from, from our items. Otherwise, traits are not, aren't going to transfer otherwise. Is there any other tra is there any traits I can transfer? Healing and quality. I don't think I care about quality too much this early on. Healing though, um, I think that'll be good enough. And we only need one trait, so I'm gonna just end it right here. Just gonna end it right there. Yeah. So you can add both of them, but only with only one of them is gonna be active, right? This confused me a little bit the first time I did this. Okay. Oh wait, I'm gonna give this to the old guy. Oh, I didn't need I didn't need to like do that right away. Okay. Okay. 
Right, headaches again? That's a bit different. Normally she gets recipes from um I guess just getting new ingredients and uh doing stuff with them. But I think this is a little bit different. There might be a new mechanic here. Slightly slightly similar but different mechanic. But in cutscene right now. You got a key. Okay, so where's everyone else? I'm surprised I haven't bothered her by now. I'm gonna have to make another medicine, uh, a cheaper medicine that I don't give to her. In rare cases, you can obtain materials with powerful traits called super traits. Super traits can be transferred to items during synthesis by using materials with super traits as base ingredients. Okay. However, it only works once when you unlock the trait, uh, the super trait slot material loop. Okay, so it's a, I'm gonna be a while. Super trait can only be transferred from raw ingredients, and you can't transfer them from already made stuff. I see. Item that inherits super traits from a past synthesis cannot transfer them. Okay, so I don't know if that's a new. I don't know if that's a closing a loophole from before, or this is balancing for this game in particular. <laughs> Because uh, the first, the last two games were had some really broken, um, had some really really broken lo uh, loops that you can do. So maybe that might be balancing for this game. Speaking of which, I'm gonna make another grass beans. The grass beans I that I want to to give Agatha. That's uh, really really cheap. I guess we got some berries that we can use. Okay, so this is the one I'm gonna give to Ab Agatha. Also, Ryza, what's up with this? You're making only one at a time? Oh, right, right, I forgot. Um, I, some items have charges in this series. Uh, at least this trilogy. Item charges have started becoming a thing. Alright, bomb! We can actually make a bomb, but can we add a trait to the bomb? That's the question. Curse protection. What does the curse protection do? Curse protection. Temporarily reduce defense. By how much? Huh? How much? Curse strength, curse defense. I think I'm gonna want the curse protection. Hopefully I can transfer the trait, otherwise this is gonna be moot. This could be moot. Do I need one more thing? Oh, I need one more thing. Dryad Slayer? We're gonna fight, be fighting Dryads this time? Hmm, no one wanna save this for later or nah? Order Boost. Charges power of order skills by 50%. That's quite a bit. It's quite a bit. Hmm. Okay, which one will let me add traits? This one will add, let me add traits, but I need two lightning. Do I have two lightning? Might be easier to do the gunpowder here. Yeah, it might be easier to do the gunpowder. Okay, so since that's a zero, we don't get anything even if we put stuff in there. I see. I see. So I need to actually put something worthwhile. Gotcha. Something cheap? Something cheap? Hedgehog Slayer. Sure. Fire damage and... Do we have enough to do this? No. Could add another trait. 
Uh, critical plus would be nice, but I think curse protection would also be be nice. So I, if I have to pick one and then focus on uh, getting more fire damage, let's do that. Let's do the more fire damage. Yeah, so let's do the curse protection. That might be that might be good. Nice. Uh, okay, so I guess I can also... Can I make a dry biscuit? I cannot make a dry biscuit. Not enough materials, not enough for the nectar either. Looks like we have the recipe for elixir this far <laughs> this early into the game. Uh, we just can't... We just can't make any of this stuff. We have a lot of... Um, we have a lot of stuff for later material uh, for later recipes but we cannot do anything with these because we don't have the materials Ryza what happened to the materials that you that you collected I know it's been a couple of years but girl did you use them all up recipe morph right so recipes can change uh, can morph at, at, into other recipes if you get far enough into the chain right Okay, let's see if I can make that axe really quick. <laughs> Master chopping. It doesn't matter what traits we put here, there's no traits that matter here. But, I do want to get this um, as good a... I do, I do want to get this as good a um, gathering as much as I can. Gathering up XL, but I need lightning. I don't have any. I don't have any wood with lightning. Traits really don't matter for this, to be honest. Uh, wait, I need, can I? Can I like undo? Okay, so we can undo. Ample healing, speed charge. I might want to save that speed charge. Yeah, I think I might want to save that speed charge for later. What's Warrior's Oath? Slightly increases attacker level. And we'll probably get more of this. Let's just do it for now. It's not like the traits are that rare. They're not. Doesn't matter what I put here. Axe. Let's get some materials for now. <laughs> ah, future screen. Gathering tool. Equip in the menu, otherwise you can't use it. Got you. All right, let's see what else we can make. Let's see what else we can make. A hammer. I saw some rocks outside, so we can definitely we can definitely use a hammer. Master crushing. Oh, so this is for gathering. Let me see. All right, I guess I'll just use all the wood I have. Uh, wow. Okay, so we can get we can gather quite a bit of stuff early on with the with the rocks. It looks like. I think that's as far as we can get on this chain, though. So we are gonna leave that alone. Or maybe I put something else here for for future things. Yeah, let's probably put something here for future things. Not really necessary, but. Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> okay, so we got some gathering stuff early on. Nice. Anything else I can make? Uh, looks like we can upgrade our equipment, but we don't have the materials for it. Yellow neutralizer. Okay, so I guess we can do a neutralizer right now. Ah, we don't have any lightning though. So, well, let's just see what we can do with this. Let's see what we can do with this. Uh, I can make some neutralizer, but it's not gonna be any good. It really is not going to be any good. See, I think I have more rocks than the other stuff. 
Water, there should be some water in the in the well in the back, but I couldn't gather it for, for whatever reason. This needs lightning, I have zero lightning. I don't have all the right elements, but we can make things anyway. Alright, I guess we're just gonna have to let it go this far. Critical. Critical, sure. Nice. We just need to get more stuff. That's all... That's really all there is to it. Oh, we can make an ingot right now. Okay, good to know. And maybe get um, a little bit of a boost. But we don't have any good... We don't have any good uh, traits here, so that's that's no good. Fine. <laughs> Let's just do what we can. Let's just do what we can. Curse protection, Night Slayer. Maybe not this early. Maybe not this early for the Night Slayer bit. I'm just gonna put some throwaways in here. Ice? I guess we can just get some base stats. Yeah, I guess let's, let's just get some base stats. Oh, okay. So we might be able to, like, get plus two, plus two. That'd be a good start. But I wonder how many ingots I can make out of this. That's the thing. How many ingots can I make out of this? <laughs> I can make it doesn't say and I can't transfer any trade so that's that's moot that's moot. three ingots are we how many are we gonna be able to use huh? how many gonna be able to use? what else can I make can I make some thread no she has all these recipes but nothing she can make can I make any equipment? I got the ingot, but I don't have the... Oh, I don't have rocks. I don't have rocks. Oh, we can make a charm. What's a charm do? What's this charm do? Pointy uni. What is pointy uni? Deals additional fixed damage. Oh, I, I'm guessing this is for attacking, so there's a, I guess there's an accessory, so... Warrior's Oath? Attacker level, speed charge. Ooh, can we get some traits? Hmm. See if we can get some traits. Oh! Okay, so that's where the ingot goes for now. That's where the ingot goes for now. Sharp razor. It's just be it's just better versions, but can I I, I, ah, my ingot is way too weak. My ingot's way too weak. Okay, so let's put something here that we don't mind losing traits on this early. Alright, and then maybe improve our... Our base, right here. One more. And that's as far as we can go. <laughs> as far as we can go without wasting too much time. One accessory for the for a lucky attacker. Who is it gonna be? It's probably gonna be Ryza. HP region on turn. Nice, that's actually a pretty good starting accessory right there. We might be able to make a couple more, but I kind of want to gather a few things first before we do that. Okay. Craft. Okay, we did not make a craft. We did not make a craft. Curse protection. I think I want something that... I want to do something else. Fading strength. Wait. Do you do the same thing as this? 
reduces attack. Okay, so we don't need to double up on the, the attack down. We don't need to double up on the attack down. We, we can, like, make this, um, be a debuffer. There we go. And I guess we just put whatever here. Spikes. We're gonna get traits. We're gonna get traits. Ah. Okay. So maybe, maybe I ignore what I what I just put at the front. Yeah. Let's just put something here that's throw, that throw away. Should have looked. Should have looked. Uh, let's see. So this requires fire. We definitely don't want to put that there. <coughs> I guess I can just uh, load up on the, the spikes. That'd be pretty good to start off with. Nice. We're getting some nice quality bombs here. This time. Nice quality bombs. Alright, so I think that's it for now. Let's go ahead and start wrecking stuff <laughs> very, very early into the game. I'm gonna put everything on Ryza first, because it's prob we're probably gonna be using her. Actually, no, I kinda wanna put it on bows. Control bows. What does the skills do? I need to see, I need to see what his skills does. Single damage, increased damage on stunned. Okay, so low chance to inflict paralysis, fire magic, physical, physical. They both are physical. It looks like Bo's uh, Bo's skills use more AP though. Rises is balanced for both, and then Tao. Uh, he. He's not as strong. He's definitely not as strong, so he's he's using more skills to chain. I see. I see where this is going. All right. So I think I'll just put it on on Ryza for now until we can figure out a better way to do this. Uh, bombs. Right. We'll give her most of the bombs. And the one healing item I'm not gonna hand over. All right, where's the save point? Where's 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 the? Okay, here's the save point. Okay, let's go ahead and gather more stuff. <laughs> we barely started the game. I'm still gathering stuff. <clears throat> I saw some rocks over there. May as well grab them. You know. I just hope they refreshed. I just hope they refreshed. I'm sorry, guys. For the people who uh, voted to for me to play Ryza, um, I think you had other expectations, but um, this is reality right now. This is this is what I do in these games. <laughs> this is what I do in these games. I I go out, I I grab stuff, and um, it takes me forever to to do things because I'm I'm just grabbing everything. I'm just grabbing everything. Wait, didn't I have an axe? Hold up. Hold up. Can't I? Can I switch to the axe? Oh, I should be able to switch to the axe. Hold up. How can I? How can I switch? How can I? How do I switch to the axe? Actually. R to select. R to select. R to select. Hmm. R to select. Hold up. I do have it equipped, right? I do have that. Okay, I do have that axe equipped. But how do I use it? Gathering tools. Select. Oh. Okay, so it, it was the the joystick. Chop it. Tough lock. It's a little bit different from the other locks I've been. Gathering. 
And I guess I can't chop that one. Nope, that's all I know. That's still a no. Okay, so I gotta watch out for any, um... For any logs. Can we smash you now? Nice. <laughs> oh, I can smash this? It doesn't seem like it gives me anything too different. Oh, wait, did you just chain that? <laughs> she chained that. Oh, she chained that uh, swing. That's, um, that's definitely something else. I don't think she was able to do that before. It's like usually just one swing and that was it. We're out here destroying nature. That's, that, that's just kind of what we do right now. Okay, so depending on which one I use, it's gonna be different. I mean, that's usually the thing, but... Do I need more f Do I need more of the... I guess it doesn't really matter, but if we want more ore... I'm gonna have to just balance out what I, what I gather here. A little balancing. Day feels too short, man. Don't even. Don't even. We can use an axe? What? Huh. That's different. I don't remember ever being able to use an axe on those things. Okay. That's a little different. Is there anything over here that I missed? Oh, there's a tree. We'll just uh, get a whole, whole baskets full worth of logs. I don't think we need the fruit for anything yet. Uh, I did. We did get some fruit in a different spot, but yeah, over here we got some fruit over here. But I don't think we're gonna be using them anytime soon. So let's just gather some logs. That might be for the best. Can I use the the hammer? Nope. Hammers are no. Right, anything else over here? So we'll just do like one more gathering run. Well, I mean like this gathering run, and then go back to the to the workshop and see what we can make. And then if we can't, ma after making everything, then we'll we'll get a move on. I just wanted to just wanted to get a head start with um our gathering here <laughs> and alchemy a bit i mean we're not going to get anything high powered but it should be a good decent upgrade for the people we do have so that, 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 that's pretty that's pretty much it that's pretty much it that's pretty much it can i get this mushroom yes utopia that is a that's a very long word Utopia Champion. Utopia Yo Champion. I know the uh, I know the series likes using a bunch of uh, random French words, but I feel like that was more back in the back in the Arden series, more so, not necessarily Ryza. All right. Anything else I can chop here? Are you actually gonna let me go all the way out? Or not? Yeah. Because if I can go further, I will. I will. Okay, maybe I need to... Maybe I should gather some regular... Wood here. Which I did not get much of. Okay. I think the only thing I wish is that you can... Is that she, like, can automatically uh, figure out which, um, which tool to use for the job, but I guess it's not too bad. It's just, it's just like two button pushes, but the select, the selection with the, the R button is a little bit weird. That's my only issue. 
That's my own issue. Can we go further? I don't think we were able to go further than this last time. Let me double check. Yep, okay. Okay, so we can't go further than that. Alright, second uh, collection run done. Let's see what we can make and then... Actually, get on with the story, because I know you can... <laughs> This is, uh, this is a lot of prep for early game, but I gotta prep. Oh, I forgot all these flowers. I forgot all these flowers. Oh, you can whack these. Can I chop you? No, you can't chop these. Okay. And we can't make juice out of them. I feel like there was a few plants in, um... Maybe it was Sophie, too. Where you can, like, smash bushes to get juice, but I guess, um... I'm either, I'm either remembering wrong, or you just can't do it in this game. I mean, obviously you can't do it in this game. Maybe I'm just remembering wrong. Bozano! Bose, I have no idea if your swordsmanship has improved. You're at least fighting with us now. But here's the thing. We haven't fought any enemies. <laughs> we haven't fought any enemies since the beginning of the game. I'm actually surprised they they let they set the tone of the game with a, with a fight. Alright. I think I need to make more neutralizers first. We are out. We are out. And it doesn't really matter what I put, but I do want to put the cheap stuff in here. I think I have more of the... yeah, the ore. Any trades? Nope, we don't have any trades. Doesn't really matter what I put here. Unless there's a trade I want to put through. Hmm. Oh, this, can, this is a neutralizer. Ah, uh, for a neutralizer, I guess let's go with... Let's just go with something that's going to... ...affect items. I know there's water outside, though. I know there's water outside, but can I grab water? We'll try again. Anyway. Let's we'll put that in. It looks like the SP system from the the second game is coming over here. Which makes more sense, because she supposedly already knows all these recipes, but for some reason she has to unlock things. That might be new stuff. And I can't get the water! Why won't you let me get the water? Where am I supposed to get water? I think there's a pond nearby. I think there's a pond nearby. Maybe that's where I'm supposed to get the water? Let's see. Because if this is the this is where I'm supposed to get it, um, it's not very obvious. She can't swim here either. Where's my gathering point for the water? I don't have one. This place I suppose is supposed to have some base resources. Where is it? We're not, we're not getting any. We're not getting any. All right. All right, Ryza, back it back into the. Back to the cauldron, and we got some other things we can make. I remember there being some uh, some tough logs, and if I remember correctly, tough logs have uh, lightning on them, so maybe we can use that for something. Maybe we can use that for something. Hmm. Alchemist stuff, here we go. Let's start, a, start improving our, our gear here. Alchemy level ability S. Oh, let's make some ingots first. The ingots we have are utter crap. Polishing powder, that's gonna that's different. Sure. Level up! Ah, right. okay, so our rocks are no good. Our rocks are no good. Do we have any good um, traits? We do not. We do not, so... We just need to find something that has a decent trait that we can transfer over. 
that makes sense for this early in the game. Which isn't much, if I'm being perfectly honest. Additional slots for super trades. Alright. Can't do anything about that. Can't do anything with that. Alright, we'll just end it here. Uh, sheep Slayer, sure. I don't even know what a sloth looks like. But I know what a sheep looks like, so... Let's see... We need... Ingots. Where can I make some ingots? Where can I make some iron ingots of gold? Here's some ingots. Definitely need that, um... That plus two attack. That, that'd be very helpful. That'd be helpful. I'm just trying to see if I can add something here that's... No. Let's go for the plus... No, oh, we'll need three. We'll need three, that's okay. We will need three. Ah, uh, you need ice for the trade? Mm. Okay, so we got rocks, but you also need... <laughs> you also need an element I do not have. Alright, so I guess I'm just gonna ignore elements for now. If I'm ignoring elements, then... Just do whatever! Let's just do whatever! As much whatever as I can do without screwing my materials over. Something with quality, maybe? Is this gonna be good enough? Eee, that's gonna be zero. Okay, well, at least we get the plus two. We get the plus two. That's, that's, that's good enough. Alright. Let's get, let's get equipped. So we're not gonna get any bonuses for, for that stuff. Oh! Lightning and lightning and ice. Yeah, let's get the the cheap stuff, I guess. Enhanced items, three percent, five percent, traits, abilities that we cannot access yet. I can't access traits either, so I'm not going to worry about traits. Neither am I going to worry about quality. Maybe, 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 not, maybe not right now. I can at least maybe increase my item effectiveness a little bit. Can we? Are we going to be able to? Um, no, not as much as I want to. Okay, so let's just do the cheap stuff. Good enough for now. Good enough for now. Okay, who uses this? Who uses this sharp edge? Um, I'm guessing this is Tao. But at least I'll get the plus two attack and plus two. Plus two defense, and technically, we, if we stack more of these uh, into there, uh, they'll, they'll get more. But I just want to like have a basic. I just want to have like increase our basic um, equipment for now, which right now actually does not make sense to for at least for Tao. Uh, all he gets is a plus two, plus two, and that's really not going to help him much. <laughs> so until we get better stuff for him, um, we're probably not going to do that. More uni charm sounds good, though. Uni charm for everyone sounds good. So we'll be making, we'll be making a couple of these. Do I have any plus threes? I do not. I probably shouldn't worry too much about the about the traits, but 
to be nice to have some decent traits I can use. And I do not have any traits I can use. Trade pointy. Okay, so I guess we'll just do... We'll just focus on pointy. Focus on the pointy bits. Alright, I think that's as far as we can go. So we'll make one more of these. So one's gonna go to Tao and another one's gonna go to Bolts. It looks like the um, the accessory also gets a plus attack too, so that, that's not bad. So even if I can't give them a plus attack for, through their weapons, um, through the accessory should be also be good enough. Alright. <laughs> nice dance. Nice dance! <laughs> Alright, so let's do this. Okay, so you don't get anything that... You don't get any equipment upgrade, but you will get accessories. So that should be good enough for now. That should be good enough for now. Yeah, so they do get the... The stat increase from the accessories too. That's nice. Alright, so no items for these guys, because I don't think they're going to need it. Let's see if I can make anything else really quick. I want to say I should be able to improve the um, the ingot with the with a polish powder, but I'm not sure. I am not sure. I should favor the ingot. How do you how do you favor it? Check the tree, Marcus' favorite. Also, polish powder and neutralizers, Marcus' favorite. We're gonna be making those a lot. Yeah, right there, makes it a lot easier to find. Pretty sure there should be some powders here. No, there isn't. I think, I think the powders were on the bottom? Let me see. Let me just see really quick. But the bombs don't exactly... Okay, I have powder, but I can't use it. Mm. Okay, we're just missing some stuff. I think that's good enough for now. That's good enough for now. We got a lot of ingredients that we can use for later. Uh, that gives us a head start. And we'll just get going. It is freaking night. It is night. Are they still gonna be awake? We'll find out. We'll find out. Man, where's Ren? Hey kid, what's up? Any good fish out there? That's a nice deep blue ocean. Or water. Yeah, ocean. Ocean water. It's nice deep. Guess there's no fish. Hey cat! Okay, I thought you had, we were- Oh, we can pet? This wasn't- this never used to be a thing. This never used to be a thing. Oh, we got sardine with a cat. <laughs> We got a sardine from the cat for petting it. Amazing. Okay, looks like we can get some stuff around town too. So um, let's let's keep an eye open. Let's keep an eye open. I might be able to break some. Bo oh, I don't have a fish. Ah, you can swim and fish by the water at the riverside. What's up, dude? Traveling swordsman? Question one. Good hands, craftsman hands. I would like you to prepare me a sword. Okay. It is down to your timing. Make the ultimate one bring it to me. 
Um, it looks like we didn't get a quest for that, so... Hey, cat. You got some fish for me? No fish, but you got a cotton grass. Interesting. So they don't give just fish. They have some random stuff on them. So pet all the cats. <laughs> hey, cat, you got something? Got something back there? Decayed iron pieces. Interesting. Can I use anything else? Oh, okay. So I can use uh, an axe. I can use a hammer. But they all seem to drop the same thing. So I don't think we need to change that. Scrap pieces of paper around town. And maybe if once we go back home to the farm, we might be able to find some other stuff in the farm. Which reminds me, I don't think we have a... Um, we don't have a sickle. We have no sickle. Yeah, Ryza. Just, uh... <laughs> just run and gun those paper scraps. No one saw anything. No one saw anything. Yeah, Tao and uh, Bose are back in the island. Changed quite a bit. Has the island changed? I don't think the port has changed much. You can't really change the port that much. I think everything else is... Um, so far that we've seen is more or less the same as the first game. Oh, can we pet the dog? We can pet the cast. Can we pet the dog? Oh, we can pet the dog. <laughs> Even the dog has something. Even the dog has an incentive to, to, to pet it. I see. Serious girl. I wonder whose diaries this is. Do you know about it? I don't... Oh, we got a diary. We got a diary? We got a diary. Uh... It must be a recipe. Okay, it's probably a recipe. A recipe book. Usually if you get a book, it's a it's some sort of recipe book. Almost always is. So we won't be able to read it, but we will be able to check it out once we get back. Secretly took notes on what the adventurer who went to the islands was saying. Mark Kark Island materials. Okay, so that's um a new place. So I guess it pays to talk to everyone you can talk to. Can we go in this water? No, because there's no way for us to get back up if we do. Let's see. Nothing. Nothing. I get this right there. I could finish this quest right now. It looks like this... This building is closed? Wait a second. Was the port always like this? I feel like this part... No, the port was like this. There's a restaurant up here. There's a restaurant up here. Oh, no. Ryza, what are you doing? Why are you going crazy? Why are you going crazy, Ryza? Let's see. Oh, we got some flowers. Blue flowers. We've only found red ones so far, so blue ones are going to be nice to have. That means we can make some blue neutralizers, I think. Huge islands just appeared at the mouth of the bay. Are you talking about those over there? I feel like I've seen those before. They might have been there before, maybe not. Could be think could be thinking different. Let's see, let's explore a little bit. Until they tell me, nope, you gotta, you gotta finish this. <laughs> you gotta finish this. Oh, there's a cat. There's another cat. You got something for me, cat? Is this gonna be a feature in most games now? The the, the petting. Decayed iron pieces. Hey, we got some water from barrels. I guess that's where you store water. Probably where you store water. It feels this feels like it could be a fishing spot. I don't. Oh, oh, it's not a fishing spot, but we can swim here. Why? Why? I can't dive. I think later on we'll be able to dive. 
So if I'm able to dive, there might be something down here I can dive for. That's probably why we can swim here. Otherwise, we're just kind of like... We're just kind of like um, the, the, weird, the weird person in town uh, swimming in the local... I don't think this is even the water supply. I think this is actually bay water. This could be bay water. But it looks pretty clean for bay water. Oh, okay. She can grab onto that. Why can't you? Why can you grab onto that, but you can't grab onto the ledges outside outside of town? What, what what's up with that? Huh? What's up with that, Ryza? <laughs> okay, it looks like if we drop over there, um, there is um, there's a ladder we can climb. I don't think the shops are open yet. We don't even have the money to buy anything anyway. But there's a lot of paper, and I'm here to collect the paper. And water, whenever, whenever we, get, we get water. Anything over here? No? Okay. Oh, we can't go up these stairs. I want to talk to that lady up there. We can't talk to that lady up there. Oh, what's going on over here? The island suddenly appeared, yep. Um, ma'am, I don't think that's how islands are formed. The uh, islands are formed by usually plate, tecto plate tectonics pushing up against each other or magma. Those, those are the two main ways. Hello, doggy. All the cats and dogs do the same, but you know what? They're all pettable, regardless. Large bow. Okay, we actually got a dog-like item there. Like, we got a fish-like... We got a cat-like item with a fish, and... Suddenly we have a, a bone. I think if this is where I think it is, this might be this might be a lens place. Which means the map is a lot smaller um, than what it used to be in the first game. Probably to probably to uh, be able to fit everything else they wanted to fit in this game. Because I, I feel like they kind of like abbreviated the the port and the the town square, and that kind of looked like lens place, but it might not actually be a lens place. It might be elsewhere. Hey, nice! Thanks for the avocado. Or you know, the, actually, is where does this go to? Hold up! Hold up! Broken tools. Did I have broken tools already? I don't know. You can climb faster using ladders. Okay. Um, is there anything here that I can pick up? Nothing? You can swim in the water. There's nothing here to pick up. Not that I can see. Yeah, we're just, we're just a weirdo um, swimming in the water right now. <laughs> We're just a weirdo squid in the water. Let's see. Let's look at the map really quick. I'm kind of... No, that's some... Okay, so I guess that was the new area we checked out. What is this? Steeple Reservoir. Waterfall Basin. Relaxing Plaza, Sunken Residence. Okay, so they, they just kind of connected everything. So this is more open world uh, than the than the other places. Because uh, in most other games, you have like districts that you can just uh, that does a scene change, but there's no scene change anymore. There's no scene change. You just kind of... It's... Psst. The cat disappeared. <laughs> cat? Cat, where'd you go? The cat disappeared. It's probably because... Probably because we went to a different zone and... Oh, there's, a, there's some vines here? Ah, oh, the vines are up there. How do we get up there? Oh, I see. We have to, we have to go up to the other side somehow and then... Hardcore. Okay. 
Which where are we? This place that this place is familiar and different at the same time. Also, who's leaving their trash around here? And why is a trash filled with wheat? It makes sense if those bags are like close to a residence or something, but just out here, that's kind of random. Okay, I can't jump that way. We have to go through the bridges. And miss it. Maybe, maybe if I run. Maybe if I run through. No, I don't think that's enough. For, I don't think that's enough space to run. Let me see. Ah, oh, crap. Can't even press the jump button. Okay, I don't think we get any increased airtime by run jumping. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try because I think it. I think it might be. That might be a thing. Usually isn't, but it might be a thing here. Oh, yep, it is a thing. It is a thing, so we gotta run jump. You can't jump up? Alright. Oh! Ah! I gotta go all the way back. Got all the way back. I feel like there's gonna be a vista there too, a landmark or something. That's why we gotta parkour through all of this. We're getting closer. Don't fall. <laughs> Don't fall. What is over here? A tr Not just one treasure chest, two treasure chests. A beehive. A beehive and tarn. I hope those are some high-quality items that I just picked up, because it's going to be weird if, um, if they're not. So here's the taunt. Now, that's a beehive. Here's the tongue. That can't be right. You mean I went all that, all that way? Oh, no, the quality's pretty good. The quality's pretty good. I think the traits are okay. They're not the best. I think it's mainly a quality check. It's, it's mainly a quality thing. It's hard to find high quality ingredients this early in the game, so. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm already going the wrong way, but I'm going the wrong way, wrong way. I'm gonna explore first before we. Before we have to do what we have to do. Remember, talk to all the dogs and cat. Because they got something for you. Uni. Uni. Acquired peculiar, peculiar power at Arbor Ruins. What is this? Yeah, it does pay to explore. That's for sure. Where are we? Oh, here's the town square, town square. The dock has changed. The dock area has changed. Wow. Yeah, this is definitely quite a bit bigger than even the first game. Just in sheer scale. <laughs> just in sheer scale. Hey girl, what's going on? Okay, I'm gonna walk away. Um, you're staring at me and that's kinda awkward. Sir, can I- may I pet your dog? Sir, may I pet your dog? Is this dog even yours? I'm guessing not. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Gosh darn it, people. Quit leaving your wheat all around here. Heard they were building a community house for immigrants, so I came here to look. <laughs> immigrants. Why would anyone want to move all the way out here? It's like basically the middle of nowhere. Literally. It's just some little island village 
off in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Where am I? <clears throat> so I came from, uh, came from above. All right. So we can explore this area a little bit more then. It's gotta be something. Hey dog, have I talked to you? All right. Thanks for the avocado, doggy. I guess we can swim in this water. <laughs> ah, there's got to be a reason why I can swim here. Otherwise, why would they let me do it? Maybe there's something underneath. There's might be. There's probably something underneath here, right? There's got to be something underneath here. Because I don't see any vines on the on the um, on the on the tower in the middle. There's got to be a reason. That'd be a reason. Also, let me get to this ladder, please. Ladder? Ladder? We, we, we need to get up? Alright, good. Oh, I think I talked to you yet. Ever thought Tao would come back looking so handsome? <laughs> I think I'll go for him now. Uh, girl... I, I think you're too late for that. Oh, here's the oh an el elderly citizen, not the elder. Youngster should so show more respect. But yeah, girl, girl. Um, I think you're too late for, about for Tao. Um, I don't know if they're going out. If if they are, that would be a first for that Tell You series to so have an actual. No, it wouldn't be a first. Technically, it wouldn't be the first time there's a couple in that Tailor series. Um, it might go further than this, but I do remember in Manic Maya, there were couples. And also, even, I think after Manic Maya, there's a lot of ship tees, but ship tees doesn't really count. Uh, oh, this is Len's house. Oh, this is, the, this is the one I was thinking about. But there was also, as far as couples are concerned, Eska and Laji. Eska and Lanji were, I feel like, a couple, and they did give them that route at the, at the end, of the, the remake. Ah, Samuel, I see you have not changed one bit. You're not quite drunk yet. I'm, I don't know if we'll see that again, but uh, you definitely gave Len some, some dad issues. Back, back in the first game. Definitely some bad issues in the first game. Oh, did I run into you? Okay, no, I didn't think I ran into you. I just clipped through you. So if I go to the left, we go to Ryza's house. If we keep going forward, we'll get elsewhere. Am I missing anything around here, though? I feel like I went around here grab what I could. I may have missed some stuff. I know I got you, doggy, but I'm gonna pet you again. Alright. And I think... I may have picked up everything. Let's go down here to the old district first before we move over. I know we're gonna get fast travel eventually, but for now I just wanna explore. <laughs> we're just gonna explore. Hey, Kato. Thanks for the weed, Kato. Wow, there's a lot of uh, animals around here. Just ready to give me some random stuff. Guardians who went to the islands uh, came back with injuries? Yeah. That happened. That happened. Also, why are waters in barrels? There should be some not in barrels. Islands appearing out of thin air. First time this happened. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of weird. What's up? Grandfather told me an interesting story. Treasure of the castle ruins. Oh, we can get, go back to the castle. Interesting. I guess we're really revisiting some old places in the, in the first game. This one especially, though. Where do you grab the? Where do you? Where do you guys grab this stuff, huh? 
Why do you have some random junk on you, cats and dogs? <laughs> Why do you have ran random junk on you? It's hot? Kurukin Island really is on an, is an island of endless summer. I mean, yeah, I mean, most islands are kind of like that. They're either hot or wet or dry. There's, there, there, there's, no, there's no other temperature setting. Wow, the old district is different. Or maybe it's it maybe it just feels different because uh, we didn't go through this uh, transition area. Uh, we usually just went through the the gates, and really didn't get to explore the town as it was meant to be explored. Hey, workshop, welcome. Just exploring the town right now. I'm supposed to be turning in some stuff, but I'm just I'm just enjoying uh, exploring. There's a ladder here. Let's see where this ladder goes. But a lot of familiar places in the first game has gotten expanded quite a bit. So... Oh! It pays to explore! Can I, can I drop from here? Yep. I can drop from this side, but I can drop from the other side for whatever reason. Why? Why, why, why can I not? Why can I not? Uh, let's see. There's a there's a vine here, but I don't think there should be. I don't think there's anything here. Oh, there's a treasure chest. This random treasure chest with random ingredients. It's like, why is that? I'm not gonna question it. I'm not gonna question it too much. Anyway, the old district really do look different, though. It's like I'm going through a lot of nooks and crannies that didn't used to be here. Um, and this used to be the old... Not the old workshop, but the place where Empo and Lila used to stay. It looks like we can go in. According to the map, you can't see it. Oh, no, this is the school. This is the school. Hold up. I want to test something really quick. I think I need a sickle for this. Oh no, I can just pick it directly. Nice, we got some local fruit. We got some local fruit. All right, let's check. Uh, let's check out this area first really quick and then go back in, I guess. Okay. Maybe there's something in the, in the school. I think this was a, yeah, this, I think it's the only school, I think about it. I love the transitions, it's so seamless. I think a lot of a lot of stuff have been very seamless since the um since Sophie 2. Rosin District Treasure. I'm guessing. I'm guessing do they just mark stuff? No. Right? No. We're just getting like random bits of info, but I don't know what to do with it. Hello! I guess we, she teaches here part-time. I wish she could tell us about alchemy. Um, it's really hard. So I've been interested in alchemy since they took your class. Oh, she does teach here also. So not only does she make items for the town, she also teaches at the school. <laughs> I I don't know. I, I, th I think uh, the way Empel told, mentioned alchemy is like you, you have to have a talent for it. Otherwise, like you can't do it. Meanwhile, in other games, it's like, it's something you can actually learn. It's some Oh, we came from over here. In other games, it's like, you can it's a skill you can actually learn. Not difficult, but I guess people... Some people can't get a basic grasp of chemistry. It, it seems. It just seems that way. But then again, some of the stuff that alchemists do in the series is... A little beyond chemistry most of the time. <laughs> like you got basic chemistry in there, you got basic cooking in there, and then you also have a little touch of magic. Just a little touch of magic sometimes. And uh, that's that's the part that's uh, yeah you you you, you can't you, you can't really do that in in a pot. <laughs> you can't do that in a pot. It might be easier to just do it um, normally, like making a pie. Making a pie with alchemy. 
Astrid Rai. Astrid Rai is the one thing she's good at, making pies. And why are there just random sandwiches here? Thank you for the stuff. Why are there random yeah. sandwiches here? I want this. I want the sandwich. Why is there just random food out here? The cats are out. That's lobster. That's lobster. That's lobster soup, and the cats just over here hanging out with, with the food. Okay. Just came out of nowhere. Maybe it's a ghost island. Okay. Are you talking about those islands? I think you're talking about those islands, but I don't know if you're talking about those islands. I don't think I've seen those islands. Okay, so I can't jump over the... the little canal here. We gotta cross the bridge. Like, it wouldn't be hard to just climb back up, but... They're not letting us do that. Okay, I think I cleaned this area out. We gotta visit everywhere first before we... Do anything. Can I talk to you, kid? No, I can't talk to you. Are you looking down on me, kid? Huh? Are you looking down on me? You're looking down on me, aren't you? Okay. Well. Is there anything over here? Nope. Okay, what are you guys doing over here, huh? Is it a little family outing? Did, did dad throw a tantrum again? What happened? <laughs> what happened? I just want to know. I just want to know. There's no mention of Crooked Island anywhere in the older writings. Suddenly appear in history. Maybe the islands came out just like uh, just like those islands did. Uh, probably. Oh, we can swim here. It looks like we can go out pretty far. There's got to be something here if they're letting us swim this way. Oh, she can fast stroke too. Interesting. I don't see anything down in the water. Okay, so she can't go too far. She can't go too far, but she can still swim. I don't see anything in the water that she can grab. Anything underneath the bridge? Nope, we can't even go under the bridge. <laughs> can't even go under the bridge. We can't swim all the way out, but we can swim this far. All right. Okay, I'm getting a lot of rocks, but I'm not getting any seashells. There used to be seashells around here. I guess that's gone. Oh, here's some seashells. I knew I remembered some seashells. Nice, got some seashells. Um, I guess I don't see a fishing spot though, so we can't fish here, but we can fish at the harbor. Anything. Okay, so I think there's a little cove here. Um, I'm just gonna like cover the the map with my with my head. I'm sorry. That, that's just kind of how it's gonna be. <laughs> you cannot see the map. I, only I can see the map. You, you, there's there's no there's no screen peeking allowed. Uh, let's see. Hey, girl. Hello. You know, some of the NPCs actually look pretty cute. They really do. Then again, you see the same models everywhere, so... Maybe it's not that different. Maybe it is different. This area hasn't changed for a long time. It's always been like this as a kid. Another 10 or 50 years probably look exactly the same. Okay, yeah. I think there's a little bit more people here compared to the first game, though. Um, that's one thing. At least we weren't able to explore to this extent in the first game. I, th I feel like this place was a lot smaller in the first game. They really made everything much bigger since the second Riser game. And that, that also transferred over to Sophie 2 when they made that. So it's interesting to see all the changes and how it's all so similar at the same time. It's just so much more expensive. So much more expensive. I don't know if you can call this open world, but it feels open world-ish. But the thing is, this, this is not like the the main, you know, thing with with the series, right? It's just an aspect of it. It just happens to be an aspect of it, and 
you get to roam around more instead of having using map nodes. I personally, personally for me, ease of use, uh, if you want simplicity, map nodes are nice. And this used to be the old mansion. Okay, so we can go in. I don't think anyone's living in here right now. Uh, but this is where, um... This is where some old friends lived when they were renting the, the place out. Some... Odd... Decorations sticking out here and there. Oh, who are you? You're also different. Also, this is probably the reason why we would go in here. What's in the books? What a father left behind. What are all these things I'm picking up? I, I, I'm gonna have to figure that out later, because I don't know. Who are you, girl? What's going on here? Still curious about the islands. Summer's the time of year when I get overwhelmed with work? I guess he has some... I guess uh, this place is just being upkept while no one's here. Ah, the basement! We had to plug that thing up last time. And we can't go into this room. Is there anything in this room? There's stuff there, but I don't think there's anything we need. We couldn't even go up and down. Okay, well, there's not much to explore here, but we did get something from the, from the shell, so I think that's good enough for now. Maybe if, um... Maybe if some old friends decide to drop by again, then... We can pick that stuff up. Alright. Almost done with the old district. I'm sorry, guys. We haven't really done anything in this game as far as... As far as, uh... Story-wise. I'm just exploring. I'm just vibing. I'm just exploring. Just exploring. Um, almost went into a two-hour alchemy session. Did not today. It's a little pointless to do it this early, but I got the itch. <laughs> I got the itch. Let's see, was there something back here? I think there used to be a, a hill. Exploration good? Yeah. I was like, hey, Rager's welcome. I'm just exploring right now. I could give Ag Agatha, Agatha the medicine that she wanted. Um, she's all the way back in the port, but I'm not even bothering with it. Hello, Kato. What do you have for me this time? Cotton grass. Nice. I don't have a reliable source of those, so it's nice to, to have that. Um, I'm still impressed that they actually let you pet animals. The first game to ever let you pet animals in the Atelier series. Kind of hesitant to rise of three streams because spoilers, but it's probably fine. Also a nice cat. Yeah. Well, no spoilers yet. I mean, I'm still at the very beginning of the game. I'm just still in the very beginning of the game. And honestly, the only thing that we got so far is some islands popped out and like popped out of nowhere up out, out in the horizon. Don't know anything about it. There were some weird monsters that we fought at the very be beginning of the game that we've never seen before. And uh, yeah, that's that's really about it. That's really about it. Deep Rock Galactic while you go. All right, thanks for the lurk. Thanks for the lurk. I'm just gonna keep exploring the town as much as possible. And once I'm done exploring, then I'll I'll get on with it. <laughs> I'll get on with it. There's islands in Riser Three spoiled. Did you know? Did you know that? Ryza lives on an island? Shock? Shocked. Shocker. Alright, I already talked to you. I already talked to this cat. I think I'm gonna... I think... Yeah, I think I'll talk to, like, every cat and dog, um... As I go through... As I go through the first time. But I'm not gonna talk to them every single... Every single time I go through them. And maybe once in a while. Because otherwise <laughs> it'll take forever. Not cool, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to find out this way. I'm sorry. But you're in the you're in the Rise of Three stream, so you're gonna get spoiled just 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 through proximity. Okay, so I went through the old town. I guess I'll go drop by Ryza's house last. Um let's go towards um Bose's house first. And then towards Ryza's house. I am going to try to collect as much paper and stuff as I can, though. I mean, the paper's really not that important, but I need some... I need some burnable materials, and paper's... paper's it. At least until we get more burnable materials that I can use. Meow. Meow. 
I'm still wondering what I can do with these iron pieces, though. Actually, no. Like, can't, I'm gonna have a look at them right now. Is there, is there anything? Is there anything good with these iron pieces? So yeah, at least I have a decent amount of water now, just from whacking random barrels. Okay, so the broken tools is ice. Um, decayed, mat decayed iron pieces is lightning. I got a bunch of stuff from the forest, which... Fine. Paper is fire, as always. Dried lumber. Did I actually got dried lumber here? I think that's uh, something I got elsewhere, but I may have also gotten it from the... From the boxes I smashed. It's also funny that they gave us bows right away. It's like, I... I, I mean, the, when the... When they were doing all the uh, character promotion for Rise of Three, they mentioned bows, and everyone was like so excited for bows. Like if you remember him from the first game, he was such a pain in the butt. Character-wise, he was such a pain in the butt. The worst, actually worst character in the whole series up up to that point. And then he mellows out by the end of that game. Oh, the squirrels went away. I I guess you don't want to pet squirrels. Petting squirrels could be a an issue um, and then it's like when the second game came out right a lot of people were hoping that he would actually be playable and eventually third game he's playable and right off the bat too the only people were missing as far as the old crew is Len right I guess Empel and uh, Leela too but Empel and Leela do their own thing I guess Len is doing his mercenary work or whatever it's basically the, the job he's uh, taking up these days. Hey, Doggo, what? Okay, where were all these animals at the, fir <laughs> at the first game? Where were all these animals at the first game? Also, why did Gus suddenly decide that, hey, let's just put dogs and cats in random places, and when you pet them, when you actually show them some love, they'll give you stuff. When did they decide to do that? When did they decide to do that, huh? I mean, like, also, I guess being being so far out from the rest of society, it kind of makes sense for the cats and dogs to be all mostly the same. But at least, you know, a little variation would be nice. I feel like, no, no. I was going to say they dropped the ball on the NPC variation um, after a certain point, but no, they've, it's always been like this. <laughs> it's always been like this, even, um, even all the way back in... In the olden days. Even as far back as Manic and Maya, the NPCs were mostly all the same. Copy and pasted. There's there's some differences with them, but it's like. It's just, it's just funny once once you think about it. And then when when an NPC is truly special, you'll definitely know um they're different. Yeah, you don't want to touch a stray, stray animal in real life, for the most part, because stray animals in real life, they're kind of feral. Uh, honestly, they're kind of feral. But, I mean, this is a game. This is fine. But, yeah, um, I do know, I have seen, like, um, videos, right? There's some videos, especially, especially some Japan videos, where... At least I know Rachel and June did this. Uh, they w Where they would feed stray stray cats they're more cat people and i don't think there's any stray dogs in japan if there are stray dogs in japan usually usually they get caught by animal services or whatnot i've never seen a stray dog but i've seen plenty i've seen some stray cats uh, and stray cats generally shy away from people but if you feed them they tend to trust you a bit more but i guess uh they have a habit of capturing strays <laughs> to like take them to vets and sometimes a couple of times already I think they've kept the strays and they, they become they just become a uh, nice house pets after they get used to living in the in the houses but the yeah, uh, strays are dangerous to begin with because they, ha they have very low trust of people right strays have very low trust of people and you can you can get the you can get them in your good graces uh, after you feed them for very long periods of time. 
but still not recommended because they usually have a bunch of diseases on them. Um, yeah, dogs. What kind of dog is this, speaking of? What kind of dog is this? Because we have the same dog. I mean, we all the cats and dogs are copy and pasted, but what kind of dog is this? Can't tell. Looks like a border, border collie? Ah, is that what a border collie looks like? I'm not familiar with them. I'm not familiar with them. I've seen huskies, I've seen pugs, chihuahuas. I don't like chihuahuas. Those things are feisty. <laughs> I don't like chihuahuas. Uh, I can recognize a few breeds, but there's some breeds I just don't see enough. That's like, huh, what is this thing? What is this thing? Ah, you two. Poses lackey and uh, dad. Can't stay a fool forever. You gotta be quick to react and expect an event. Okay, what are you talking about? Do the part for your village? Right. I mean... At least they're less of a jerk this time around. <laughs> they're less of a jerk this time around uh, compared to the first game. Chihuahua? Yeah, so Chihuahuas, if you've never seen them before, they're like re really small dogs. Uh, I think they're mainly from Mexico, or at least from Mexico. But small dogs in general, most small dogs that I know, are very feisty. Small dogs are very feisty and... Or either... they're, they're Okay, no. Small dogs have two modes. They're either very feisty or very scared. One of the two. Um, just because I guess, I guess it's their size or something that makes them that, makes them that way. But a lot of people tend to baby small dogs and you really do not want to baby small dogs because that just encourages the bad habits from them. At least that's what I've been told before. I mean, you need, you need to treat them as equals, but you don't want to baby them. Like, if they get scared, you don't, don't pick them up. That's, that's, a bad, that's apparently bad psychology for them. But I don't know. Don't, don't take your, your pet uh, advice from me. That's just what I've heard. Diary of a Wealthy Man. We're getting a bunch of these random stuff. I still need to figure out what these are for. I think the game told me. I just ne I just didn't understand. What? Okay, game. Where's the Where's the guide for this? Uh, travel memoirs. Oh, this this thing. Oh. Okay, so they show up over here and they give you hints for stuff. Just got done meeting with recruits. Explain the job to them. Okay. Now this. I, some of them are. Odd coral can be found near the pier of the island with a lighthouse. Okay, so there's some hints here. There's some hints and there's some random notes. Cloud seems to have made a good friend. Bad habit might be overprotective. Experience various things, okay. Claudia, so this is Claudia's dad leaving, leaving notes from last time and some, somehow we, we picked that up. And I guess the stuff with the check marks are the ones we need to pay attention to for landmarks and special stuff, I see. Behind the eastmost windmill hidden a treasure in the Rosin district, I think. Diary of a wealthy man. Four years since we lost our water source at the time I was in despair. Instead, I was inspired to start a number of new businesses. Okay, so I think this is um, Bose's dad. I think that's, I think that's Bose's dad's notes. Interesting. Interesting. So if you if you know if you know a little bits and pieces from previous games, um, you can pick up on that stuff. Which you know, I I mean, if you just jump into Ryza Three without playing any any of the other games, that's okay. That's okay. I think I think you can do that. But I think the Ryza series in general is pretty bad. <laughs> Pretty bad about uh, referring to past events, and when I when I like to try to recommend an Taylor game to start with, I like to I like to recommend a game that's um, that doesn't re refer to past events as much if it's um, you know if it's a game that's in the middle of a trilogy or the end of a trilogy. If it doesn't refer to past games, that's great. The Dust series is particularly good about that. Um, Arlen, kind of, sort of, not really. It's not as bad as the Ryza series. Ryza will refer to ev to the last game for small details, but nothing big. 
nothing big. So I'm just glad that they were able to, you know, at the, at the start menu, uh, give you a quick rundown of what happened in the past two games. Not a whole lot of detail, but you know, just the quick detail. Same thing with Sophie too. And we'll probably get more of that as uh, the series keeps going. Um, I just feel like we're going to get more of that as the series keeps going, which is nice, which is nice. I feel like... That's not, well, I mean, Ryza, Ryza series was a continuation in a, in a like, a, is like, it continues within itself. So I guess it makes much more sense there. Like, if you try to do the same thing in, let's say, the Arlen series, it doesn't make sense. Dust series doesn't really make sense too much either. Uh, Mysterious didn't ma wouldn't make sense to use it, use it there, but it did make sense to use it between Sophie and Sophie too. So I guess that it makes sense in that case. Like you wouldn't do a recap. Um, you don't. You wouldn't do a recap short in Furious for anything that happened to Sophie because that just doesn't happen. Oh, we can go down here. Hold up. Let me just make sure there's nothing else here. We can go down this place. This it was like the 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 last explorable place in town um, in the first game, and now we can go down here directly. <laughs> We're probably not going to get any, like, rare materials right off the bat um, in here, and there's no mini-map. Oh, look at this, it's so huge! It's so huge, there used to be pots everywhere that you can break, uh, I don't think we have that anymore. But we can at least see what's, what's up, what's up around. Man, the scale of the games have gone really huge. I like it, but at the same time, I kind of miss the simplicity. <laughs> I miss the simplicity of the older games where it's just like, uh, here's a node, go there, and uh, the, ma the map is really small. I mean, it doesn't leave much for exploration, I get it, but I do kind of enjoy this. I, I do kind of enjoy being able to explore an entire game. You used to not be able to do that too much. The games were very focused on characters and very focused on alchemy, and you know, it still, it still is. It still is, but now you also have a, an exploration part, which is also nice to have. We are getting, um, Marie, I think. Tell you Marie remake, uh, this summer, which I will also get. I don't know if I'll play it. I might play it. Question mark? On stream, anyway, is what I mean. I'll probably, I'll, I'll, I'll play it for sure, but I don't know if I'll play it on stream. That's the, that's the, that's the thing. But, which is going to be like a lot simpler, <laughs> a lot simpler than um, Ryza and Sophie to have been. I think what could really one game I know for sure. No, not one, not for sure, but one game that I would like to have this kind of um, remake for an open world feel would probably Totori. Totori, I feel like at the short end of the stick. As far as the Arlen series is concerned, for a couple of reasons, um, it's supposed to be the subtitle in the English for that one is "Adventure of Arlen." Okay, right? So, "Adventure of Arlen," you would you would think you do a lot of exploring, and you kind of do. You do. For for an artillery game, you you were able to do that. Uh, but I mean, it was limited by what you could do at the time. Looks like there's the. Looks like we uh, still the power source of the island over here. A lot of fog for some reason. But anyways, uh, Totori. Totori could use uh, an update to be fully explorable. Like, you know, give the, the wide open maps and such so you can actually explore things. Because that, that's basically what her shtick was. Um, doing a lot of exploration. But I think that that may have passed by now. Uh, that what do you call this? The that ship has sailed, um, and also it never got the battle update it deserved. It still had a very, very basic battle system for a. I would I would want to say a modern Atelier game. I say modern, uh, but like for a PS3 era Atelier game. Um, Rorona, when it first came out, was also very simple, but it had a few things going 
a few ki gimmicks going in the battle. You couldn't really use it to fool us because everything died so quickly. Speaking of, do I have a difficulty here? Is there a difficulty um, option in this game? Please tell me there's a difficulty option in this game. There is not. Oh, here's difficulty. Very hard. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put the difficulty at very hard right away. Because speaking of which, the Taylor games, if you just put them to normal, the, on, on the ones that do have difficulty, everything dies very, very quickly. I want I want to hurt. I want to push my skills to the to the limit. So I'm putting on very hard. Maybe I'm gonna tone it down to hard first until we got our equipment. Um until we get our equipment decently upgraded. But I'm gonna set it to very hard. And we'll see how far we get with that. And if I die right off the bat, then uh, I'm gonna tone it down. <laughs> I'm gonna tone it down a little bit, and um, we'll work our way to very hard once uh, we get properly geared. But yeah, um, but yeah. I mean, the games are technically very easy, and I'm glad they have like a difficulty scaler. Uh, I think they started that. I want to say in. Did they start that in Shally? I want to say they started in Shally, but I don't remember. No, they probably didn't. I feel like they started that in Lulua for some reason. Shally was still had a regular difficulty, but the enemies got super strong near the end. I feel like. I'll have to double check, because I don't know. I don't remember anyway. Oh, let's pick some stuff up. Huh? But yeah, um, I'm just, I'm just, uh, as a person who has played the, the series for a very, very long time, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm really impressed on how far it's gone and like how far the, the, the series has come while also keeping basically its, um, core design, right? The core design of that Taylor series is the item crafting. And the character interactions, that's mainly what you're here for. Um, you're not really here for any grand story. I think that's more of a recent development, especially in Ryza. So, I mean, I think they're trying to incorporate more of a story into the series. Because uh, it's, it's, still, it's still fairly slice of life, but it's, um, it's a little bit more than slice of life. Especially in the in the Rise of series, it starts off slice of life anyway, but it becomes a little bit more than that. But older games are mostly slice of life. I think the Dust series was less so, but it still had that element of it. Um, the Mysterious series was also mostly still slice of life, still slice of life. But I mean, I say slice of life. It's not like. In most RPGs, you travel from town to town to town, and you have a new base, right? In all the games, you always have work, uh, a base, and you always go back to it to do everything. I would say Ryza 1, uh, I was about to say Ryza 1, but uh, basically just starts because Ryza, it's just farming sucks and farming life is boring. True. Right, farming life was boring for Ryza, uh, so I guess... I mean, yeah, she wanted an adventure, she got her adventure. Her, her idea of adventure before was basically going to the mainland uh, without any, what do you call this, without any um, escort other than her friends, right? And there were, there were basically kids like five years ago now. Well, I don't know, so I say five years ago, five years ago in game, because I think it was like three years gap between the first game and the second game. At least that's what I remember from the opening, the, uh, opening recap. I want to say it's been one or two years since uh, the second game and the third game. So, I mean, they were essentially kids back then, okay? They were essentially kids back then. But yeah, farming life sucks. I mean, it just kind of does. <laughs> it just kind of does. But Grand Adventure stuff didn't really happen until... Um, until at least Rise Up. I think Sophie 2... Sophie 2, when that came out, start uh, also had a grand adventure thing, but it wasn't really the main focus. Um, 
it was more of an adventure in Sophie too because of the what do you call this? Um, the stuff that happened around in Sophie too. But it's not like she was looking out for trouble. She was just going from one place to from she was just on route from one place to from her hometown to a different place in the middle of the first and second games. That's what Sophie too was. Islands, yep, islands just popping out of nowhere. That's basically what Sophie 2 was. And then the stuff that happens in between between the first and second games, um, that just happens to be an adventure of its own because she just ran into it. Basically. That, I mean, if anything big if anything big happens in the Atelier series in general, it's because they just so happen to run into it. It's just because they so happen to run into it. It's not that they're looking out for trouble. It's not they're trying to, like, go after a villain. It's just, that's just not the kind of series this is. <laughs> that's just not the kind of series this is. So if you're used to RPGs being like that, um, you're not going to find it here. You're not going to find it here. It's just, you know, you are disturbing with our everyday life. Or, you know, I run, run into you in my everyday life. And because this is a problem for me, uh, we're going to fix it one way or another. There's not usually a final boss in most games. There's quote unquote a final boss in some games, but not really. <laughs> not really. I mean, Ra uh, Rorona didn't have a final boss, technically. Um, Totori sort of had a final boss, but the game yeah. doesn't end once you beat the, the final boss. Iris Trilogy, though, yeah, I omit the Iris Trilogy one because I have never played them. Two, I know their reputation. Uh, they're more traditional JRPGs than most other Atelier series. But I admit, I admit those, I admit those mainly because I haven't played them, and also I, I know its reputation. So that that's an outlier. That's an outlier. Um, I'm also mostly referring to modern Atelier games, the classic Atelier games. Um, Classic Atelier games also, I guess, didn't have that final boss sense. It's kind of more like also slice of life-ish type until they got to Iris. And then when Mana Kamea came around, it's still half and half. So I think Mana Kamea, when Mana Kamea came out, they're trying to get back into Atelier series-like, but also keep a little bit of the JRPG-ish stuff that they had from the Iris series. Is my is what I understood what happened there. Um, but yeah, the, as far as my favorite game in the entire series, no cap. Um, my favorite game in the entire, se in the entire series, no cap, is Manakimeya. The first time I played Manakimeya, I did not know it was an artillery game until much, 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 much later. <laughs> and then I was scrambling to find Manakimeya again because it's really, really hard to find. I still haven't played Mana Kamea 2, so maybe one of these days we'll go back to, to Mana Kamea 2 and play that. However, uh, a friend convinced me at the time when I was interested in Mana Kamea 2 and I didn't know it was an artillery game to not play it because they had issues with the character and I really should just, you know, should have just tried it, but I was young and <laughs> didn't realize it. Mana Kamea is good and very true. Uh, but if we're talking modern artillery games starting from Rorona, uh, my favorite game from the from that time period onwards would have to be Sophie 2. If you asked me before Sophie 2, I would say it would be Eska and Logi. But since Sophie 2 came out, it's Sophie 2 first, and then Eska and Logi, and then Ryza 2, if I had to name the top three. Everything else is pretty good. Uh, if you just want fun times, I say go back to Arland. Arland is always fun times. Meruru was particularly fun times and really ridiculous. But to be able to fully appreciate Meruru, I feel like you kind of have to do Rorona and um, and to Totori first. But you don't really have to. Mo Rorona is modern. PS3 is technically fading into retro. No, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. Okay, I guess we can also slide now. Sliding is automatic. Okay, so that's a little different. Okay, so we couldn't slide before. That's a little bit different. But, uh, okay. Maybe not modern. Uh, 3D Atelier. 3D Atelier. Is that more accurate? Once uh, the Atelier series went 3D, since Verona. 
Wait, there's a, supposed to be a spot I can slide into. Oh, it's oh, okay. Oh, that's that's automatic, but I kind of wish it wasn't. That's also very abrupt. <laughs> it's cool, but it's also very abrupt. <laughs> uh, but yeah, since the Atelier went 3D, um, Sophie 2 would be first. If you asked me before Sophie 2, it would have been Eska and Logi, but Eska and Logi is second now. And uh, Ryza 2 would be third. Ryza 2 would be third. They're all very good games in, the, in, their, in their own right. Some definitely are better than others within all the all the series yeah so Eskan, i like Eskan logic because it's got a good balance of the characters it's got a good balance of the alchemy it's got a good balance on the story what story there was and it definitely had more story than anything from the <laughs> from the arlen series arlen series is it didn't take itself very seriously and that's okay that's what it was the arlen series was gus saying okay let's go back to our roots Let's go back to our roots because this is this is what we used to be, and it was good. <laughs> it was good fun times, and then I and then I think uh, when when um, yeah, there there are some, there are some there are some uh, characters in that Taylor series that had a gun. That's that's nothing new. <laughs> that's nothing new. Uh, but anyway, um, but when I think uh, they made the Dust series, I think that's when they when they uh, merge into Koei Tecmo, right? Uh, so they were able to do a lot more stuff. They were they started becoming a little bit more, more serious with their storytelling. And the Dust series in general was just a bit... They, it had a darker tone, but not like super, super dark, right? If we want to if we want to talk about super dark Atelier games, uh, we would probably talk about the Iris games, which I have no experience with, or the other super dark, like that not kind of dark-ish, near the end-ish, would be Manakameya. Manakameya both, I think, 1 and 2, but more more so 1, because that's the one I'm familiar with, but I don't know anything about 2. Um, other than the characters, apparently. Uh, some characters are not as likable, but that's um, that's a friend's opinion and not mine. I don't know. I don't have any opinion on it just yet. I, I have yet to play it. One of these days. If I can find a cheap enough copy of uh, Manakameya 2, we'll, we'll, I'll play it and give an opinion on that. But yeah, all-time favorite, Manakameya. I'm just, I'm just, it's, you know, but it's still like, it's still very slice of life-ish in general. In general, very slice of life-ish, even within Manakameya. Because Manakameya was like, it's a school setting, right? That's very slice of life-ish. It's just the things that happen during the school setting um, is what I would also call like, you know, um, the... The interruption of of your daily life, and because it's an interruption of daily life, they have to deal with it one way or another. Either forcefully, like when I say forcefully, like they have no choice but to deal with it, or you know, go find a way to to deal with it. Otherwise, everyone else is going to be in trouble, kind of thing. Who is my favorite in Manic and Maya? The first one, uh, Mimi. I like Mimi. And I think she was one of the first endings I got. Um, I, honestly, if you ask me what the canon ending for Man and Kamea was, supposedly, supposedly, according to the devs, all of them were canon endings. So that means, that means, spoilers for Man and Kamea for who's never played it, but you probably won't be able to play it because, holy crap, it's, it's so old and they haven't ported it yet to the Switch. Hopefully they will eventually port Man and Kamea to the Switch. Um... <laughs> But uh, apparently, but in in Manic and Maya, my favorite is Mimi, and Mimi is is great. Uh, Mimi Mimi's just a Mimi's just a great girl. She's um she's a little bit forceful because of uh, what she needs to do, right? She has she has a she has a she has a goal, and in her goal is meeting hus is finding a husbando during school, and you kind of have to rein her in <laughs> a little bit during her. During her uh, quest, uh, because otherwise uh, she just causes trouble for a lot of people. Remember uh, Lydia and Sue, yeah. yeah Lydia and Sue was, did that. Mimi's good. I think my second favorite, though, would have to be Roxas. Uh, Roxas had a pretty good character development in, in Manakameya, so 
for for that i i i do appreciate it i do appreciate that and Roxas, I feel like, is like the second best ending. Everyone else's was uh, also decent. Maybe not the best. Flay's ending was okay. It's a little weird. Hey, Mom! Mom, you look the same as you did five years ago. I guess old people don't age too much. <laughs> Roxas was also broken. Yes. Yes. Honestly, I wish we had more like... Um, turn-based atelier games, which we did in Sophie. And I think Sophie also incorporated some of the some of the mechanics from Manakamea. Specifically the Oh, we actually have two Oh, we have a different dog now. You are different. You are different from the, all the other dogs. Who are you? Whose dog are you? I guess you're our dog. <laughs> you're our dog. And then all the copy-pasted dogs. But you are different. You are the one dog that's different. Oh my gosh. Uh, but yeah, I guess I <laughs> a little carried away. Anyway. Um, but yeah. Uh, I, the, the, the time cards from Mana Kamea, I think they've been trying to slowly bring that back to at least the games that have um, have a turn-based battle. Now, there's a specific term for it. CTB, Count Turn Battle. Or yeah. Card System Battle, in, in this case. Uh, where there's actually cards on a timeline, and based on the timeline, uh, actions are taken. You can ship people around the timeline. Uh, time cards. Time cards are basically items or skills that activate multiple times or over time during a battle, which is a nice mechanic. I don't think most. I don't think any other games really do that for the most part. Uh, so it's it's kind of neat that that Atelier series does that in general, at least ever since the Manakamea series, as far as I know. I don't know what the Iris series did. Blaze Me Mecha Blade is also really awesome. Also re really ridiculous, if you think about it. Also really ridiculous. I, I did like the... I did like all the animations in Manakamea, and... It's still, it was still great when I replayed that game. It was great. It was uh, it was good the first time, but I didn't fully appreciate it. But when I played the second time, my gosh, I didn't realize how good it actually was. Like everything was so good for, especially for that time. Even even if you like, even if you ported that game to this time and kept everything the same, maybe update the maybe update some uh, alchemy mechanics and maybe get higher res price. I don't know if that would make a difference. I, I don't think I don't, I don't think it needs higher res price. But at its base, it's just a very good game. <laughs> it's just a very very good game. Mechanically, yeah. mechanically speaking, story-wise, uh, everything. It's not me it might might not be the game of uh, best game of all time, but for me it is a very good game that still holds up right now. You can't say that for a lot of the Final Fantasy games. You just cannot. And Final hey, Fantasy, hey. I feel like, has gone way off to the side that it's not recognizable anymore as, as like what it used to be. If if it even had if if it was anything that made it recognizable, I don't know. I used to be a Final Fantasy fan until I found out about the Atelier series, and then when Final Fantasy did it d did some weird stuff, it's like okay, uh, this franchise is not for, for me anymore. And then everything about the Atelier series is for me. I just love it here. <laughs> I just love it here. FF is a sore spot because uh, FF uh, 14? 14? Uh, yeah. 14 or 13? Or I mean, 14 is the MMO, right? I guess, I mean, 14... I, th I think 14 is fine. I, I hear the story is really good, but it's just not for me. It's a, it, the, the pacing is way too slow. The pacing's way too slow, and I don't want to pay a subscription just to just to get the story. That's just for, that's just my thing. Yeah, it's a time issue. It's a time issue. There was a, there was a time I was at super into MMOs, but um, I left that time behind because I just do not have time for it. <laughs> Let's be honest. I do not have time for MMOs. I'd rather have these like shorter experiences uh, in games that give me a story. That's uh, that's just my thing. That's just my thing, and I, I just love it here in um, in that Taylor series. It's just good. It's a, it's a, no matter how many times they they like 
mostly tell the same story from from one game to the next. It's all there's always something different. The alchemy is a little bit different, even within the even within the same trilogy. The battle systems are a little bit different, even with the same trilogy. They like to experiment, and I respect that. I respect Gust for that. They're not afraid to experiment, even though uh, the first tri the first iteration of it for for a trilogy is not the best iteration. Let's be perfectly honest. The first uh, the first iteration of the the whole system in Rise of One it was okay, but it was not that great. <laughs> It was not that great. Neither was uh, anything they did in the Mysterious series that good. No, <laughs> uh, I don't think it. I don't think uh, the Mysterious series redeemed itself until Lydia and Sue. It just did not. I think it kind of tried something in Ferris with the the whole open world travel thing, and I, I think we got a little we got a little bit of that uh, back in Ryza. It much been proved. By the way, um, it's just interesting if you if you if you actually have been into the, yeah, it's me, it's Ms. Riza. Huh? I I just do enjoy I I I just enjoy the series as a whole. I, I I love the series as a whole, and I don't say that a lot. I don't say that a lot for any game. I don't say I love. I, when I say lo I love the game, I do mean. I love the game. <laughs> I love the series. Uh, seems pretty strong. Ridiculously defeated knight. Terror of Central Lion Plains. I guess we have a fight. We, there's gonna be a fight here. My oh gosh, I've been streaming for three hours plus the one hour we lost uh, due to stream crash. Yeah! Um, so we first hour of the the stream. If you go back into the vod later is is basic oh crap no crap no oh i did not want to do that i wanted to get the uni uh if you if you go into the vod later uh basically the first 45 minutes to an hour that was just me doing an unboxing not much to say about that and so if we if we if we ignore the unboxing i think i've gone about almost three hours just doing a little bit of alchemy go doing a little bit of story and Mainly me roaming around town trying to figure trying to find stuff that I can um, loot and explore That's that's what the stream is today a, li a lot of exploration and Just trying to figure out what we can get before we actually get on with it <laughs> And I guess also me um, Digging up uh, Atelier history and just talking about it, which is I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. It's just nostalgic being able to go through all these places, though. Let's see. I think... Did I... Okay. We went to the cape. I'm gonna double check home. I don't... I went home, but I don't think I... Oh. I would have to go all the way... Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get home on the way back. We'll get home on the way back. This is the last area we have to explore anyway. I think past this is the farm. But yeah, everything has been so seamless, though. There's no zones anymore. Well, te more technically no zones as far as uh, the town is concerned. I think there were still zones back in... Um, a lot more people visit the island. Why? Why is this such a place to visit? There's no zones in the, in the town anymore, which is weird to, to think about. But I think the, uh, they've been experimenting with seamless transitions ever since Sophie, I want to say. Because Ryza 2 still had um, zones for even just the city. And the field and the dungeons and whatnot. Um, but I think Sophie 2, they started, they started uh, doing away with that. Or not doing away with it, at least uh, improving on it for seamless transitions between one place to another. I know the battle system in Sophie 2 was very smooth. Like as soon as you get into a battle. Too peaceful. Hopefully nothing happens. Gotcha. I I mean as soon as you get into a battle in um Oh I'm I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I had to go across the bridge. Uh as soon as you get into a battle in Sophie 2, it's just boom, right there. 
there's no like transition, no nothing. The transition is zoom into the fight and you're you're there. And here in in uh, Rise of Three, we haven't gotten into a fight yet except for the first tutorial fight. <laughs> uh, we'll we'll get there eventually. We'll get there eventually. Uh, but just seeing that there's no transition between one zone of a city to the next kind of blows my mind. It's huge. It makes us feel so much bigger, so much more explorable. I mean, eventually we'll probably get um, the, the fast travel, which we're going to need. <laughs> we're going to need the fast travel. Um, I don't think we can... I don't think we can say no to that. It would, ju it would just make some things go a lot faster. <laughs> Uh, while you're while it, while you're getting acquainted with stuff, um, this is this is nice. This is nice. Yeah. And when we do Mari, or when I play Mari, it's gonna be a lot more simple times. It's gonna be probably more node based, or at least very simple map, which is also nice. It's it's, it's nice to just chill with that. It's gonna be a little. It's gonna be a more chill adventure when we do that. Need some water. <laughs> Woman in pursuit of the ultimate. Ultimate what? A oh, wandering cook. <laughs> ultimate dish. Yeah? What do you want? Looking for... When people think of this island, they think of this, but I came from outside the island, so I don't know what to expect. Rare item. I appreciate if you give it to me. Um... Kirken fruit. I think I have a. It's not that rare. It's very common here. Where's the Kirken fruit I, that I collected? Where's the Kirken fruit I collected? Fruits. Oh, here's the Kirken fruit. How about this? Exactly what you were looking for. I never thought I'd see this here. <laughs> I, I mean, it, it. It is a name. Okay, nice. Thanks for listening. Rainbow grapevine. We uh, we already have a few rainbow grapevine, but I guess um. I guess this is a uh, different traits. Let's see. Oh, I can't. I can't see. Oh, I can't see. Where's the rainbow grapevine that she gave me? I'm guessing it's the higher quality stuff. Oh, it's not that high quality even. It's like forty quality. It's not, it's not even that high quality, but it's better than what we can get right now. It's better than what we can get right now. Oh, I can't even write that stuff. Oh, okay, so that's where I've been getting the lumber from. It's like if you, if you just uh, put a new player into Rise of 3 and they had to go through that, that quest and... And... Uh, they they're probably wondering what the heck is ultimate what is ultimate but if you play the first game it's a lot easier to figure out okay there's something about the windmill hold up there's something about the windmill rosin district treasure behind easternmost windmill behind eastern so this is west where's east there's a windmill here no, that's that's not a. Oh, it's probably a. No, what is this place? Flotation reactor. Oh, we can. Oh, you can make landmarks. That's different. That is different. Um. Easternmost windmill. Well, this won't be it. This 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 can't be it. This is the West. This is the West. I'm gonna check around it anyway and see see what's up. Nope, there's nothing here. Nothing here. Can we go in? We can't go in. You give me a door to a windmill, you won't even let me go in. Understood. One of these days we'll find it. We may not find it today, but one of these days we'll find it. Oh crap. <laughs> oh crap. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm just thinking of also the battle systems. 
I think the most polished battle system in my mind is the the Manakamea battle system, and they've been. I feel like um, trying to take some of those ideas back and putting it into the the any game that they can justifiably put it in. Uh, the the that system though is very turn-based heavy. I think they kind of sort of tried to to do it with Ryza 2. I don't remember how the implementation went. It's been a while since I played it. I just remember in Ryza 2 there was a whole lot of improvements since the first game and I appreciated it because the first game was very basic for a um, an active time battle system. But Ryza 2 was so much better. It did have follow-up attacks but not as not as much death as um, Manakameya or even the other game set had the same thing, had the same system. We went to the islands. Alchemists have to do all that granny. It's it's just a thing she does. Don't worry about it. It's not an alchemist thing. Anyone can do it, but I do not recommend it. <laughs> I do not recommend it. Yeah, I think if I think if I had I think at this point if I had to say what are some key elements of the Atelier series, alchemy is definitely it. Uh, character stories are definitely it. The battle system is very different from one one game to another, but you can expect some follow up actions. I think that's um, that's a thing they try to to have, at least ever since Manakame. I don't know before then. Maybe it didn't ex quite exist back then. Can we pet the goat? We cannot pet the goat. Can we milk the goat? We cannot milk the goat. Okay, no milking goats. S slide. Oh, oh, there's not a slide, there's a crawl. Ah, <laughs> uh, we're back to crawling. We're back to crawling again. She can't slide this one, but she has to crawl? Maybe the, maybe the gap's not that big. Maybe the gap's not that big. Okay, so we just got a mushroom here, but is there any... Is there anything to this? How do I sort it by date? Okay, sort it by date so I can see which one is... Oh, there's a really good mushroom. Holy crap. Um... The traits really aren't that great, but the quality is pretty good for this early in the game. I don't know if I want to use it just yet, though. How, how do I how do I crawl back? Okay, so doing they're doing more front view than back view. <laughs> I think I think in uh, Ryza 2 they they did both front and back, but here it's um, just front. I wonder why. <laughs> it's been a while since I had mushroom. I kind of it's hard to find mushrooms around here. Like good mushrooms. I want some mushrooms. Now now I'm feeling um oh there's back here too. Okay. <laughs> I guess we have to we just have to wait for it. Okay, I guess we just have to get to that point. <laughs> Ah oh, man, also talking about mushrooms kind of makes me feel like Meruru right now. I'm, Meruru um, is a mushroom addict. Like, back in the Arlen series, everyone had their own little quirk. I guess also, even up to this day, everyone has, still has... Every alchemist has their own little quirk. But the Arlen series uh, stood out quite a bit because... I think Verona, her quirk was like, she likes pies, she makes everything into a pie. She even makes philosopher stones into pies, which you don't really want to do that <laughs> unless it's for completion purposes. Because um, philosopher stones are very rare. I think there's like only one or two in the game. So yeah, um, don't, <laughs> don't, unless for completion, don't. Um, and I think I think uh, what do you call this? Totori, her thing was fish. Fish everything. I think Ryza also has a little bit of fish in... Never heard about those islands, there's nothing I can do about it. I think Ryza also has a little bit of fish, uh, what do you call this? Tendencies, but not so much. 
I, I do remember sh her having a a fish a sardine pudding recipe, which um Gust actually posted a video on how to do it in real life, and I'm morbidly interested in trying it out. But I need to be able to find whole small small fish to 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 do that. Uh, qu begs the question, what does a philosopher pie taste like? A philosopher pie. I don't know what a philosopher's stone pie would taste like. It's a giant rock. It doesn't even melt. It's not even sugar. What? what? Verona, why? <laughs> why would you do this? What's the point of making a philosopher's, philosopher's stone into a pie? I mean, yeah. I, I'm just saying. Is that a giant safety pin on her butt cape? Yes. Yes, it is. Now that you mentioned yes, it is. I do not know why. I don't think this she uses for, for anything, but yes, it's a giant safety pin. And yes, Ryza is the most thick, but that's also because I blame that on the artist that they hired to, to make of her. <laughs> I mean, if we're, if, we're com if we're comparing body types, um between all the 3D Atelier games. Um, yes, she is. Everyone else is Twigs compared comparatively. I think the Twiggiest person though, the Twiggiest person still probably has to be either Totori or Luluwa. And that's saying something if they're the Twiggiest people compared to to little girls like uh, I'm, I'm trying to get names right now. Liddy and Sue. But for the, for their size, I, I think they're okay because they're kids. Technically, still kids, but... And, I mean, I guess you can't really compare the the, the classic, classic Atelier series because they were all pretty much 90s style sprites and art, so there's not much you can compare that to. So we are getting Mari, so and I think Mari got an upgrade, like she got an upgrade overall, so that's gonna be something, <laughs> which makes you, which we kind of, which kind of reminds you that, um, despite the criticisms of Rise's design, you should probably also see some of the older designs. They were not, they were not quite um, as innocent, I guess you could say, as the, as the start of the 3D series either, but. <laughs> It's not it's not as overt, I feel like. Except for nah, no, nah, Mari 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 was pretty overt, not gonna lie. So, I think so was Ellie. I think so was Ellie, but I'm, I'm, we'll, we'll see. We'll see once those are remade, because I, I have a feeling they're gonna remake all of those games. There's someone I can talk to here. Who can I talk to? Everyone's talking about the islands. Everyone's talking about the islands. Everyone's worried about the islands that showed up. Where is it? Oh, who? Oh, random person. Take this with you. It's too dangerous to go alone. Take this with you. Kark Islands Treasure 2. Okay, so we'll get, uh, we got leads on the treasure. Nice, and I have a lot. I have a lot of wheat now. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this wheat. Let's see, I'm just trying to think of the quirks, uh, the little quirks of all the... Alchemist from one game to it to the next the one that I know of I think in Manakimeya, they're all alchemists in Manakimeya. So and I mean they all have their own personality. So I, got, I wouldn't call that a quirk You can't really call that a quirk um, But let's just say starting from Verona, right starting from Verona, Verona, pies uh, Totori fish lots of fish which makes sense for her she she did live right next to the Right next to the ocean. Uh, let's see. Last four years been subtle. Flavor of the vegetables in the garden has gotten worse. Hmm. Don't know we can help you about the flavor of your that. Um. But yeah. Uh, Meruru mushrooms for some reason. But I guess because she lived out on the boonies, that she had a bunch of mushrooms, that she would, you know, gather up and eat. The goats, though. What about the goats? 
What a, oh. Okay. I guess I'll take the uni. 12 uni. There's a lot of goats, yeah. There's a lot of goats here. I wish I can milk the goats, because you used to be able to do that. But I'm guessing that for some reason we can't milk the we can't milk these. There's a lot of cats now. We need we need milk for some recipes, but you don't use them a whole lot. Oh, there's the goat milk. <laughs> Why is the goat milk in the barrel? Why is the goat milk in the barrel? I don't think I've actually met a goat before, so I can't say how mean they are, but I feel I, I feel like some people ha are, um, don't like goats too much because they, they can be pretty mean. There's goat milk everywhere. We just don't get it from the goats directly. It's just in the, the vases and the boxes for some reason. For some reason, that's where they are. Man, all these places are like still pretty much the same. Huh? Oh, random box with random treasure. Outskirts farm treasure. Hold up. Hold up. Maybe we can do this run. So, Kark Isles, we can do that. Resin District. Oh, so Resin District. That's the middle portion. <laughs> Behind the easternmost windmill in the Resin District. Outskirts farm treasure. Trove a trove up a hill near a relaxing spring with an ocean view from a stone circle. That seems pretty easy. So we're, we just have to go up a hill. It's probably going to be the end of this path here. So that should be pretty easy to find. I don't think that's even a, a clue, but you know, it's it's in the map. It's in the map. Uh, let's see, what was... What was... Uh, I'm trying to think. So... Dust series, right? Dust series. Also, they, they also had some quirks of their own, but I don't think they had as many quirks. I don't think they had as many quirks. Because I'm trying to think in Aisha. Aisha. Aisha? Aisha? I don't know how you want to pronounce it. Aisha. Um... She was a herbalist, but she didn't really have any particular quirks outside of plants. It was a very plant game. <laughs> it was a very planty game, so there's that. Um, Eska. Apples, because they, she had a lot of apples. She had, she had an orchard, so I, I wouldn't call that a quirk, I guess. But no, I, I guess it kind of is also. But she didn't like go too crazy with the apple recipes and, and whatnot. Not, at least not compared to, you know, Verona and any of the Arlen people with their with their own personal quirks. Um, I think then there was... Lodgy didn't have a quirk in particular that I noticed. He's just a mechanic. <laughs> He's just a mechanic as far as alchemists are concerned. Keep her out of Limbus? Keep who out of Limbus? What do we keep out of Limbus? No good apples? Ah, yeah. Yeah, no good apples there. There should be a treasure around here. Be a treasure around here. Yeah, don't remind me of the apple. That, that was that was painful. That was that was painful. Probe up a hill near a relaxing spring. This is not a spring though. This is not a spring. Unless this is what you're talking about? But this is a hill, and there's an ocean view. But there's supposed to be treasure here? Am I missing something? Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I have to stand at a specific spot. Maybe that's what it is. Shally, I don't remember her having any particular quirks. I mean... I really- I just really don't. I, I think she was quirkless. Both Shallies, by the way. Shallister and Shallot. Didn't really have any particular quirks. Just one came from the desert and another one um, had a lot of water. 
but that's it. But they didn't really do much about that. Sophie! Didn't have a particular quirk except she talked to a book. But she didn't have anything quirky. Not, uh, Ferris kind of sort of did. Ferris kind of sort of did. She was basically a meat eater. She did not like vegetables. I don't think she did a whole lot of uh, meat recipes though. Now that I remember, not a whole lot of meat recipes. Okay, so I guess breaking this doesn't do anything. And then the twins, Lydia and Sue. No quirks there. They were just, uh, they were just brats. <laughs> they were just brats. <laughs> uh... Yeah, workshop, I get it, I get it. No Toho talk right now, though, okay? We're not doing Toho right now. <laughs> We're not doing Toho right now. But, yeah, the the, the twins were just uh, brats. At the end of the day, they were just brats. Lulua did not also get pick up any quirks from anyone. Or herself, even. I think everyone's been kind of quirkless for, for a while. Everyone's been kind of quirkless for a while. I think Ryza. You would say the twins need a correction. Needed correction? I don't know. I don't know what co kind of correction we're talking about, but. <laughs> I mean, you, they they just miss their mother, okay? They just miss their mother. It's understandable. It's understandable. And also having a dead de deadbeat dad, if any if anyone had a quirk in, in that game, um, if anyone had a quirk in that game, it would be the dad. But his quirk is painting when he finally got around to it. But there's a reason why he's a deadbeat to begin with, right? That stuff happened, and uh, that's... It's it's quite sad. I, I, honestly, I think the... Um, I think Lydia and Sue actually made me tear up a little bit uh, with, a, with a family situation. Just anything, just any stories with family stuff in it that... I can kind of sort of relate to, um, will get me 100%. Will get me 100%. I think, can I go to the house from here? I think I can go to the house from here. I think I know what you're talking about, Regress, but... <laughs> I, I'll be honest, I have seen the series, the, the, I, I have seen that thing around, but I never touched it. I just not, I just did not touch it. It's just not... I, I, I don't I don't like that kind of um, treatment. Let's just say, but I, I do know what you're talking about. I think I do know what you're talking about. <laughs> and we will we will not talk past that. Can I go? Oh, I can go home. I can go home. If this was if this was a if this was a member stream, if I actually had the ability to do member streams, yes, we could talk about that in more detail. But this is not. <laughs> It's been a while since I've seen this house. And dad is still here being chill. And don't just come back here when you're tired. All right. Oh, is anything with his barrels? Ah! Taruka. Rose? You too? Taru. Tao too? Okay. What's up with this? Why is everyone else saying it? Taru <laughs> What's everyone else saying it? I forgot it. I forgot if Manikamea did the same thing with the the barrel stuff, where every alchemist had their own say in it. Oh my gosh, the room. Rest? Nah, we can't rest here. The uh, the, the the cauldron used to be right here where the table was, right here where the table was. Like that's no, oh not the table, the the couch. They put a couch there. Oh. And why do we have this thing? in the room. I thought there was only supposed to be one of it, but apparently there's one here also. And then the- oh, wait, I can change outfits, right? I think I can change outfits. Let's see, what's in the closet? Oh, I, we can't change outfits from here. We has to be in the other place. Yeah, I think- I think everyone's been fairly quirkless as far as, um, just eccentric- eccentric things goes uh for for quite a while i kind of missed that but hmm, if it 
it's if it's not needed, it's not needed. I think rise as quirk if I if I had to pick one. It's just farm stuff in general. But that's a little too broad. That's a little too broad. I don't think she has anything too special as far as that's concerned. Not that I can tell. She did have a few fish recipes, but it's not like her thing, you know? Not like Totori. Not, it's not like Totori where she made a bunch of fish recipes. But also, she made a bunch of fish recipes because she was asked to do it. Like, does anyone remember the sardine beer? Sardine beer was a thing in Totori, okay? Sardine beer was a thing in Totori as well as a, all the seafood related drinks, which was odd. Very odd. I think the sardine beer might be the only thing that would be worth trying, but everything else is no. Just no. <laughs> okay, there should be... Is there a windmill here? Easternmost windmill here? Unless the windmill is elsewhere. I just don't know about it. It's supposed to be here, but I don't think there's a windmill here. I think it's referring to else, someplace else that I'm just not understanding. BBQ soda? Which one was the BBQ soda? BBQ soda was... was that Manakamea? I think BBQ soda was Manakamea, right? I can't... I don't even remember. I mean, BB, barbecue soda is... Arch and Lekka won? Did it? And it's been such a long time since I played Art 10 Local 1. The only thing I, I only thing I remember about Art 10 Local 1 is fun buns. I still don't know what a fun bun is. I think fun buns are just what? Cookies? Manju? I, I don't even know. <clears throat> I don't even know. I do I think I still have Art 10 Local 2. I don't think I have Art 10 Local 1. No, I think I do. I'm gonna have to double check my collection. But I kinda wanna do like an Art 10 Local playthrough at some point. Just, you know, just for old time's sake. But it's like... The Artinical playthrough would be very, very long. I remember Artinical 1 being a very long game. Artinical 2, not so long, but it did drag out a little bit. I, I just kind of bit. It's like those Tokyo Station with the bean bird page. Oh, is it real? Is it kind of? Uh, I'm... Uh, I'll be... I'll be honest. I'm not fond of the... I'm not- I'm not fond of the, um, what do you call this? <laughs> I'm not fond- I'm not fond of those bean pastries in Japan. I get it. I get it. It's everywhere, right? They- they use Azuki for everything, but holy crap, must you use it for everything? It's a little ridiculous sometimes. It's a little ridiculous. I got sick of Azuki after a while. <laughs> Grain? I don't mind the grain. I don't mind the grain. Honestly, the grain's not too bad. Um, it's like, this is, and this is coming from someone who likes pulp, but then again, pulp is a little bit different se texture, right? Right. But the grains are... Uh, it's just... I I think my issue with Azuki is just it's so... You everywhere, and I feel like they could use some better fillings. I probably would be the same thing with Ube also, if they use Ube everywhere, but no, Ube is like in certain things, it's in certain desserts, in certain uses, so it's okay. I'm okay with it. Uh, I, I feel like the level of usage of Azuki in desserts in general over there, it's like I'm okay with it sometimes, just not all the time. It's, it's kind of like in the same level of put avocado on everything. Why? Why do you put avocado in everything? Why do you have to use nuts on everything that's protein related? Why must it be nuts? Why must it be avocado? That that that's the level of That's my level of complaint. It's like it's overused. It's it's the reasons why I don't like peanuts. It's the reasons why I don't like peanuts. It's also the reason that I don't like avocados. Avocados are okay texture-wise, taste-wise. It's a little too thick for me, not, not not gonna lie, but it's like, yeah, it's it's just overused. <laughs> I think the big thing with Azuki is it's not sweet, it doesn't spoil easily, unlike cream, for example. 
your avocado toast. You can keep your avocado toast. I'm, I'm not saying anything bad about your avocado toast. It's a me problem. Okay, it's a me problem. Please understand. <laughs> a lot of my complaints are a me problem. It's not in general a, a complaint. Wait, I think I'm going the wrong way. Oh, I need to be going north. If I have any complaints in general, that it would be nuts. Peanuts are a general complaint, and I wish they would not. They would stop using it in everything that's quote unquote protein related or granola bars in in general. Because why? There's there's. I know peanuts are easy to grow. You can use peanuts in everything. I like peanut butter. Okay, I like peanut butter. There's nothing wrong with peanut butter. It's just... I feel so... Misled. So... Betrayed. Whenever I pick up a protein bar and it's just nuts. Give me at least some soy protein in there. <laughs> you know? I know not everyone likes so soy protein. And probably soy protein is not the best thing to do. <laughs> but... Protein bar that's just nuts. Okay, I think we disconnected. Are we live? Are we live? OBS disconnected. I think we connected really quickly, but I just want to quick check. Quick check. <laughs> I think this happened yesterday too, but um, I see you. Okay, all right. I don't know why OBS just randomly disconnects, but it happens every so randomly. Yeah. Anyway, I think I'm done with uh, touring um, Kirken Island. It is now time for your regularly scheduled program to advance the story for the next hour. I will be streaming for at least one more hour and calling it a day. <laughs> <coughs> So expect these Atelier streams to start, like, at, um, pretty early, 6 p.m. Eastern, going for at least 5 to 6 hours, probably closer to 5, because I do work the next day most of the time, so. Uh, we spent a lot of time, uh, just rambling ab about stuff, and, uh, now we're going to go back on track. <laughs> we're going back on track. Yeah, the medicine's ready. Here's your medicine. I gave you the cheap stuff, because that's what you do for quests. <laughs> You didn't ask for anything specific, so here it is. <laughs> yeah, sorry it took like three hours to get to you. Oh, here's trouble. あんた空間島は初めてかい確かに久しぶりだがここじゃ珍しくもないぜ。Wait, <笑> Yeah, wasn't the earthquakes because the island was sinking? Yeah, I thought we fixed that. Man, we were there not too long ago. <laughs> Oh, okay, so we just cut to a scene. Okay, good. Oh. I guess uh, it didn't hold up for too long, did it? Good thing you're here! Because you're the one who can fix it. What up, dude? Ah. 
あの軍刀かやっぱり錬金術に関係するものだったんだ本格的に調べなきゃでもそのためにはライザどこにバレンツ商会に行ってくるバレンツ商会ってバッチリ What? What was that? こいつはますます騒がしくなりそうだな。They have a factory here? Since when? い,いらっしゃいませ。Oh, the mansion. お嬢様への手紙ならちょうど期待の便が。The mansion. そうじゃなくて、お願いします。何でございましょう例のあれあれですえっ、ー、と前からクラウディアが用意してくれてたクラウディアお嬢様のもしかして緊急連絡用の早馬のことでしょうかそうその早い馬<笑> Wait, are, we... are we actually going to go back to the other place? ちょっと待ってください Oh, we're just mailing a letter. Gotcha. We're just mailing a letter. Man, Raiza, you, you need to make that cell phone already. It would make things so much easier. <laughs> She wouldn't know how to make a cell phone, though. And imagine a Taylor game in modern times. That'd be funny. Well, animals in the world will show Ryza and her friends various behaviors. Some animals will even give you items. All of them gave me items. I already petted all of them. <laughs> I petted all of them. You can move from the area map to landmarks in various. Oh, okay, so that's how you fast travel. If you just have to be there and then do the landmark thing. I think that's how they did it also in the first game, but. I should be able to also have a shortcut. Buy, sell, coin. Okay, there's a coin exchange. Deliver? Oh, right, that's for giving stuff. Gold exchange for rare stuff. Gotcha. Help Agatha, help the elder. All right. All right, let's go find them first, really quick, and then.、Um, There's really nothing we can do around here. We'll just pick up stuff randomly as we go, but I think、uh, exploration wise, we're, we're done. We're done for now. But if I see boxes, I'm kind of. Actually, no. How much stuff do I have? No, 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 don't discard. I want to see how much、um, material I have. I feel like I have, a, I have a lot. We have a box limit of 9,999 or 10,000, I feel like. Okay, so we have a lot of flowers, we have a lot of stuff to work with. Not a whole lot of the, the ores, but that's because we're not in an area with it. I, okay, we have a lot of. We have a lot of paper. Not a whole lot of avocados, but、uh, we can get some more later. Peaches, that's in a different place. Potato? We don't really use potatoes for anything. We don't use potatoes for anything. Fruit,、uh, the, the rainbow grape. We might. Maybe, for, maybe later. I think we got a good stock of、um, stuff for now. I do wish there was a place we can get cotton grass, but I think right now only the animals will give it to us. Looks like also we got some really rare paper here that we probably can't use yet. Broken tools. What do we use the bones for? Okay, I don't think I need to smash any boxes, but I'll probably try to talk to animals as we go along. Because they give me some of the harder to find stuff that I can't get anywhere else. Okay, I don't. Can I adjust the camera? No. Camera is automatic, it looks like. I can angle up and down, left and right, but I can't, like, zoom in and out. I don't think that's a thing. Let me see, is that actually a thing? Sprint, gather, area map, event log. Nope, that's not a thing. I think the controls would have told me if it was. Actually, no, let's look at the map. Where am I supposed to go? 
Island anomaly. Okay. Uh, where am I? Actually, where am I? Okay, so I'm over here. Oh, I can do the fast travel this way. Let's try it. Ah! Okay. I like walking. I like walking, but fast travel is convenient, so let's do that whenever we can. Hey, sir. So it is you. You're, you're the only elder around here that I saw. Oh, Liza. What's this girl doing there? Oh, she's right. Opposite bank. Monsters? Where? Oh, right. Okay, so we gotta go swim out. How do we get there, actually? Island anomaly. Help Agatha, help the elder slay monsters in the opposite bank. How do we go there? Okay, I guess, I guess we have to go through the, through the port. Is there anything here I'm missing? Oh, there's a bunch of crates down there. Oh no, I think I've been there already. Yeah, I've been I've been to that area. Uh, we're just in a different location for it, it seems. I remember there being a rock garden around here. Is that still a thing? I think it is. I just didn't see it. Let me see if I can visit it really quick. Or I may have actually gone here, I just don't remember. Let's see, what's this? Grass. Grass? Do I have grass? Alright, I could sort this too. Magic grass. Nope, that's not magic grass. We could use a few more. You could use a few. Nameless grass. It's not even magic grass. That's nameless. Uh, let's see. Always get flowers. Okay, I don't remember going here earlier. I only remember this because of the first game, but if I didn't remember this, I wouldn't have thought to, to check it. Magic grass is banned in Japan. Uh... Honestly, honestly, fair. It, I, I feel like it causes more trouble than that it's worth. Because it's, yeah, I, I just feel like it causes more trouble than it's worth. That's just a personal opinion. <laughs> At least the way people are using it. Okay, we good here? Is that everything? I got the crystals, right? There's not a whole lot of crystals in this place. Oh wait. Oh, I think I, I think we can go up further. Go up further. I see some ships. Oh, okay. So that I haven't been here. All right. Thanks for dropping by, Regress. Um, good luck with work. <laughs> I know you have a rough time with that, so good luck with it. Alright, let's see. Clean water. More worried about the earthquake than the islands? I wonder if the, everyone knows what the deal with the earthquakes are. I guess no one's told them. Only a few people know about that. Probably for the better. Probably for the better. Hey, Kato, you got something? 
Sardines. I guess I could use more fish. Fish ingredients for certain recipes. Wood, sure. Another woman in pursuit of the ultimate. Wandering cook, ultimate dish. A crystal that is said to hold sacred powers. Dissolve them for cooking. Ah, uh, it's not that rare. I, we just found it. Is this what you're talking about? Let me give you something really cheap, though. This is cheap. Not what you're looking for. Uh. Okay, so the Kurgan fruit was pretty easy to find, but I guess the, the other thing... The fairy stone is not what you're looking for. Something else. What's this? No swimming. <laughs> Stop me. I'm gonna swim. Stop me. Can I swim? Are we allowed to swim? No. We're actually not allowed to swim. Why? Not why. Can we swim over here? No. We just cannot swim whatsoever. They won't let us. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> let's get out of here. So there's supposed to be a spring. I guess there's also some other things I can get here, but I may not have the, the materials for it. The, the gathering. Wow, she's just running and grabbing. Running and gunning. Wait, which way am I supposed to go? Up. Up. <laughs> this place is really different, though. It's amazing. Alright, uh, what is over? Not this one. いそがそうだね。大坂。まあ、仕方のないことだ。これだけの非常事態だからな。ん? Man, I wish she could join us. <laughs> I wish she could join us. Sorry, demo. Mamorite no Nakaniwa, Kinisurumonova, Oktena. Atasimo sono Hitorida. Oh, tenes on the Juvon Sioni? Pomete crete Uresina. Atasiga no Renchumo. Dekireba Udema no Sokoageo Stai. Sokode. Durable hmm. weapons. We can, we can do that. We can make weapons. Actually, skill tree? Oh, this. Is, oh, this is from Ryza too. Learn new recipes. Okay. I feel like she should, she should have known this from past games, but I guess not. Large amount of skills, okay. Yep, we need SP. We get SP from synthesizing. And completing quests, apparently. Onyx Blade. Oh, so this is Bose's weapon. Oh, I see grenade. Oh, that's a craft grenade. <laughs> Yeah, learn adjacent skills, but we can't explore, it seems. <clears throat> I guess the SP is just unlocking memories from the past. Unlocking memories from the past, that's what this is. We cannot explore, though. Yeah. I guess it just shows you where possible recipes will be, or learnable ones. Medica powder? Rio craft. 200 ace breath. I think that's a recipe. SP gain 10%. Yes, let's do this first. Before learning any other things, before any learning anything else, uh, you must learn the basics. So, we'll do that. Max quality up 300. I don't know if we need that one particularly. Ace breath. Let's try the trio crap. Probably won't be able to make it. But we can get some SP from 
doing things, at least. Modify core crystal. Okay, good thing we went this way, because that's pretty important, I think. It's like, how many times have we had to modify the core crystal? Okay, I think... Can we go to the forest this way? Ah, can we tra fast travel this way? We can. We can. In front of the high Haida flower ring. Wow, we have a very big world to explore. <laughs> we are gonna be here a while. We're gonna be here for a very long while. And I am for it. Where's the where's the hideout? Oh, I'm going backwards. I'm going backwards. Oh now you finally give us some basic materials around the place. You just had me go through the forest to get some random stuff, and now here we are. With other random stuff. This shouldn't be water. That's not water. This is water. The water is in barrels. Who we'll put the barrels here? Who we'll put the barrels here? What did we use this for? Strategy meeting? I don't remember this. I have no memory of this. Oh, okay, so the water is the the spring right in front. I knew the way, I knew you, this had to you be used for something. I knew this had to be used for something. I guess um we had to go through the tutorial first. Can I go this way? Through the through the tiny gate? Okay, I can't do that yet. Can't do that yet. They said they basically said, yes, open open world game, but you can only go to certain places until uh, when when you're ready for them. I feel like we're ready. I feel like we're ready. Actually, I think I need to save first really quick. Select all, auto ingredients, auto add, never use auto add. Never use auto add. You're gonna lose some really important... Um, what do you call this? Traits that way. And use some ingredients you don't need to be using so early. Do not do it. <laughs> okay, so this is the quest item. Do we have a qual do, do we have a quality we're going for? Where are my where's my quests? Two on exploits, okay. And then slay some monsters, so we gotta do both. Okay, so two Onyx Blades. So just make the really, really cheap stuff. Just give them the really cheap stuff. I need to make more ingots. I need more ingots. No, 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 just one, just one. Nice. Okay, more ingots. And it looks like we can make all the other um, neutralizers too. Nice. That's a good start. That's a good start. Knight's Oath, Burn Q. Let's see. Uh, we can't get any traits yet, right? Okay, guess we'll have to just do whatever. Just do whatever, because we don't have the, the right elements yet. Uh, we do have stone, but I don't think the plus 3 defense is going to be that good. I think it's better just do the... I think it's just better to get the plus two attack and plus two defense. Wish we could make more though. Wish we could make more. Let's see, nameless grass, sent quantity. Uh, water? Some really crappy water. Add stone. Add traits. Quality. I think I should use some okay-ish stuff here. Maybe don't use the cheap stuff. 
Maybe not the cheap stuff. Oh, I can only put so much. Mm. No, 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 no. So, synth quality, I don't think I'm going to worry too much about that. We can do a zero here. The water, I think I might be able to eke out. No, I can't eke out the water. So, it's either add lumber or add stone. Let's focus on... Let's focus on uh, stone. And then I guess quality. We can do some easy quality scores here. No traits though, sadly. But this is a good starting neutralizer that we can probably use. Get our get all of our base neutralizers. Wait, why is this why can I use the red flowers here? I thought I had blue flowers. Yeah, I thought I had blue flowers. Here we go. Add flowers. There. But we're not going to. Here's seafood. Here's seafood. I guess we'll just do the random... Ah, we don't have the element for it. We do, but... We also don't. Quality. Traits over here. We can do easy water trait. We can do easy water trait, but I don't know if there's any traits that we could use. That's the thing. We don't have any traits we could use. Few bonus is good, though. Oh no, I need lightning. Crap, crap. Alright. I think we can only do one trade? Uh, blue is normally for healing stuff, I think, so let's do a cure poison. Yeah, let's just do that. No, strong blessing. Strong blessing would be nice. Get a buff from items. Okay, red neutralizer. That's gonna be very... Very important for some... For some, for some bombs. Oh, we can put water here too. Let's see. How many items can I put in? So this is add gunpowder, which would actually be useful, but I need three and I can't put three. I'll probably do one trade. But that's it. So how many trades do I have? Okay, we can probably do another trait here with the, with the gunpowder. I don't think we have anything good. I'm just gonna put something here, just in case. Power throw, rapid, and uh, I guess I've... No, nah, power throw is... Power throw is okay. Yeah, I guess we'll go with that. Nice, we got some basic items here. Flower. We did get a bunch of wheat, which makes sense. And we got a bunch of paper. I'm gonna have to like... I'm gonna have to like, um, what do you call this? Discard some of these lower, lower tier um, materials at some point. There's a lot of zero elements, and we don't, you don't want zero element. We get another fire there. Quality. Sure, let's add a little quality to this. No traits, but that's okay. Powder! I think that's a new thing that we just learned. 
Healing Feeble. Okay, I think those are the good ones. Don't do don't use those. Don't use those. Fire. Dance of the Wind God. Oh, what is this? This is new. Increases speed when battle starts. I don't know where I'm going to use this, I, so I'm not going to use that. <laughs> Ultra Purity? What? Volume of gem obtained with gem reduction increases significantly. Swordmaster. Uh, I don't think it's a uh, fun. No, it's not. It's not a Final Fantasy XII upgrade. It's if you want Final Fantasy XII upgrade, that's that's more like Mana Kamea, to be honest. What is this though? Gain Swordmaster symbol by transferring to your weapon. There are some skills here I've not seen before. There's some skills here I've never seen before. This is wild to me. What is this? Supporter level increases. Defensive formation. We're getting some. We're getting some random, high quality skills that I'm. I'm not used to seeing. On very low level things too. On very low level things. I need to save those for when they make more sense to be used. Poem of Living Color, what the heck? Increases maximum HP. The thing is, I don't know where I'm going to be using this. It's probably going to be for medicine, so it doesn't make sense to use some of these things. Doesn't make sense. Alright, filter. Filter just fire here. Maybe first class product. Like first class product we can use. Ah, but no, the, the trait's only going to be for this item. Right, that's the, that's the stipulation here. Ah, cripes. Is there anything I can do traits? Blue. You got any blues? No blues. Okay. We have everything but blues. So I really shouldn't go too all out here. Any lightnings? Some lightnings. Good. We'll use those. We can use one. And I can only put one more item, which is a moot point. Oh, we can probably use... Um, we can do this one over here. We can increase the quality just a little bit. Level up! Alright, and then trade. Oh, we can actually do one trade. Hmm, if we're doing a trade with medicine, let's do strong blessing. It's never a bad idea. Maybe no slayers, though. Maybe no slayers. I don't think it's gonna transfer, but. You can't make a whole lot, can you, Ryza? We got very, li we got very limited production here. We have very limited production. Uh, I think you're gonna learn skills for that eventually, but still, it's it's concerning to see that you can't do much. Synthesis plus one. I needed this earlier. I needed this earlier. Trait slot. I think any good traits here. Mm, maybe. Maybe. Let's add another water. Level up. Mushrooms. This is quality and this one is traits. We can do this. Uh, let's see. Few bonuses is always good. Paper is probably going to go on something like a weapon, so let's do... Let's do Cursed Protection. Ingot! Do I need more ingots right now? Probably not, so let's not do, worry about that just yet. Sloth Slayer. We probably don't need that. But it's gonna be used for armor. Element value plus one. That's a lot to use, though. 
Add general goods. Okay, I think I'll do that. I think this one can be zero. Not gonna worry too much about the... Maybe I should worry about the element value, actually. Back up a bit. Back up a bit. Can I, can I do this? Oh, it looks like I can. Okay. Let's do an element plus one. It's gonna help a little bit. At least it makes it from useless to useful for now. And then we can make some cloth. Alright, so we use one of these. Actually, no, hold up. Which one has lightning? Oh, it's just that. Mm. If I get all three, it's a plus one defense. Ah, maybe we can skip it for now? Maybe we can skip it for now? Quality. Traits. Any good traits. I don't think, I don't think there are any traits that are good for transferring to cloth stuff. I don't want to use all my threads though, enough for now. Okay, we're, get, we're not going to do that for now, we're not going to do that for now. We'll just keep it basic. However, it's too basic that it, it's, uh, it's no good as a material. It's no good as a material. Okay, so we have a... Okay, so grass sickle. We haven't had that yet. Ah, so that's what the bones are for. Master cutting. Gathering. Oh, I don't have much of that. Okay, let's add another bone. Add ore. No, we're not going to worry about that. Polishing powder. Gathering M, but even if I did that, it wouldn't be enough. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I think this is uh this is as good as we're gonna get for now. It is okay for now. Let's make more polished powder really quick. Let's see. Sure. Uh, fire? Okay, we don't have any fire. Oh, we do have fire. Oh, we have fire sand, but we don't have fire something else. Any good traits? No good traits. I do want to increase the quality a little bit somehow, so maybe I should do that. Okay, we made, we made it at least passable. <laughs> at least passable. That's good enough. Oh, any easy traits? No easy traits that I can use. Crap. Okay, we'll end it right here. Honey. Can't make honey. Traveler's orb? This is a very broken item to, to have in, in synthesis later on. I wonder if the same is true here. We'll find out later on. Fire. Any fire? No fire. Okay. Just give me the cheap stuff. Trait slot. Need lots of water to unlock this. Effect spread, yeah, once we get the effect spread over here, that'd be great, but we don't have that material. And we can't go much further than this anyway, so it is um, very basic. We're basically just making things first time right now to to get enough SP to, to learn stuff. Fishing rod, though. We got fishing rod. That's nice. Oh, threads. We're using threads for everything already. Uh, I'm gonna have to make more threads soon. And I don't have that much cotton. 
Not a whole lot of cuts to Oh crap, I'm gonna have to make more shreds again. Gathering, gathering. Okay, fishing. We good here. We good here for now. Okay, I think I need to make more threads. The threads are gonna be favorited, so it's the cloth. So it's a zettel, I think. Probably the medica powder too. Okay, so I think the what the plus symbols mean on these items is they can be morphed into something else later. I think that's what it actually means. We need more alchemy powders though. Element value plus one. Oh crap, right. Hold up, let me give you a plus two. I'm gonna give you a random fish item that we're not gonna use. And I hope I have enough plants for the for the plus one, because that's it's at least gonna make this slightly more useful. Alright. We got fishing rod, catcher's net. Looks like we can catch bugs early on in the game here. That's normally not a thing. You're making me use a lot of thread, game. Game, I don't have that much cotton. You're, why are you making me use this much thread? Why are you making, use, making me use so much thread early into this game? <laughs> Please don't. Please don't have mercy. Alright, fish. Uh, weapon upgrades. We are probably not doing that yet. Um, until I can get ingots that are actually a decent quality, we're probably not going to do that yet. Armor, we... Oh, looks like we can make this already. We can make this, but... But... There's a caveat. Okay, so we can get defense. No traits, because I don't have any. There's just not any. More defense, but we don't have enough items. We no, we can do this. We can add more defense. I can only make one item. Someone's gonna be really tanky coming off the bat here. Mm. I think we'll just keep with a plus five. I think we'll just keep with a plus five for now. We might make a few of these because we are playing on. No, we just make one. I think. Yeah, we just make one. Because I don't... I don't think uh, the others can use that armor, but let's see. They can. Okay, so they can. Lowers attack, uh, increases defense barely. So I don't think it's worth it for, for him, for Tao. It improves Bose's stats. Okay. I think the biggest improvement though is on Ryza, so I think I'll just make one for now for Ryza. Um, everyone else can keep uh, can keep their equipment until we find a better find some better materials. Explosive Uni. This is different. No, no, no. no. I want the plus two. I want the plus two. Surprise! What's a surprise? Don't know, we'll find out. Uni Spike. Yes. 
So I don't think we can get any traits, uh, but we can definitely make this stronger. What is a surprise anyway? Surprise explosion delays the target's turn. I see. I see, and the spikes is just damage. Spikes damage is pretty good. So, can I get extra on the surprise? We can. We can get extra on the surprise. Dry biscuit. Who is gonna get the dry biscuit? And why is the biscuit so dry? Someone didn't use enough butter in here. That's probably what happened. Okay, I need ice and I don't have any. Oh, I do have some. Never mind. It's called peaches. Peach butts. Feeling full. Increases maximum HP and generates health over time. Okay. Sometimes those, uh, those full, what do you call this? Those full traits effects, um, have a downside to them. I guess not in this case. Stun gauge recovery. Okay. We just didn't make a good enough flower. Feeling full M. Any green that we can use? Avocados, potatoes, some berries. I think if I, I... I wish I could get more traits. Oh, here we go. We got some traits. We can use traits. Yeah. And I think that's really all I can do for now. So... Quality. Right, a little quality probably doesn't hurt. So one trade for this... I guess the quick blessing would be nice. Is this everything? Fish oil? What the heck do we use fish oil for? Defiance? Increases defense and recovers stun. Okay, so there's a battle item. Maybe don't use that one. You need lightning. We don't have any lightning shrooms. So I'll just give you some random stuff. Okay, let's grab that defiance. What is over here? Quality. I'm gonna save those neutralizers for now until I can find a better... Until I can find something else I can use. It's good for now. Good starter item. I think that's it. I think that's it for all the stuff I can make. So, I think there were a few bombs that I made. Yeah, I guess I can give this to Tao. Uh, the biscuit. Yeah, I think I think Bose can handle the biscuit, maybe. I forgot how this um this core item thing works. Core charges zero seven zero ten. Okay, so they're using the Ryza two system to where if you get enough charges, you can use uh, the item. You can't just use it right away. I get you. I get you. Thorn shock. Fading, strength, surprise. I guess I'll give this to who's better at items. Okay, Tao's probably better at items. No, I'm gonna give this to Ryza for now. She's gonna handle all those, all the all the damage items for now, and everyone else is gonna be support. Okay, we got a little bit of time. Let's see if we can get rid of these monsters that the they've been asking about, and then we'll probably call it a day right after that. Yes. <laughs> I spent too much time doing other things. Okay, so this is the this was the map of the first game. 
but we're going to be able to explore much more than this. No, actually, no, this is this is the entire map, actually. Oh, we're, we're, we're definitely revisiting some old areas, it looks like. And then we're also going to this Kark Isles place, it seems. Yep, we just can't go there just yet. All right, let's go, let's go hunt. Let's go hunt. Oh, okay, well, I'm going the wrong direction. Where am I supposed to be going? Where am I supposed to be going? Is this not it? Okay, I think this is it. I'm just gonna grab some... Okay, we're getting more... We can, we're getting different stuff that we didn't get at the... Tutorial. We are gathering. We are gathering things. Okay, is there something up here now? I don't think there was any earlier. Nothing there. I do know there was a place to squeeze into here, so maybe we can find something there now. Oh, yep. <laughs> ah, boxes full of whatever. Hold up. Speaking of which, I forgot to equip the, the rest of the gathering items. We're gonna want those. We're gonna want all of this stuff. Okay, so it doesn't matter what these are. These are all water. I guess we'll grab all the water. And these are all driftwood. Lumber. We do get a lot of zero element items early on in the game, so I guess stocking up on on these isn't a bad idea. And for any zero element items that we just don't use, uh, I guess we can always just sell them. Oh, we can chop this. Nectar rock. Interesting. How about this thing? What can we get? Driftwood? Sickles, driftwood. Uh... Yeah, sure. Tough logs. It always, it's always worth it to just go back and see what, what you can get. Because there's probably going to be something different. At least for the ones that require uh, gathering items, anyway. Okay, probably shouldn't have done that. Probably shouldn't have done that to those. Because rocks are kind of everywhere, and I don't have enough... Um, I don't have enough of the the red stones. So we're just gathering as as we go. Oh, we got some enemies here. We got some weasels. Oh, I hope I'm I hope I'm strong enough for this. LTRT to switch characters? Alright. Press for aggressive mode. Alice, we use skills and items. Switch to aggressive. Sure. And switch to support. Accumulate AP and CC to use as needed. Toggle between? Okay. Conclude tutorial. Okay, I am switching over to Ryza, and we are doing support. Ah, crap. I forgot I put this into very hard. So I need to be a bit more careful. It's a good thing we start at level 20, so we can actually handle this. Wait, hold up. I need to... Crap. No. No. Okay. Oh. Noise. Oh crap. Uh, I might actually die if, I, if I'm not careful. And these are just easy enemies. <laughs> I think uh, the thing that's saving me is probably the, the Uni charm that I made. 
Because we got a decent boost on um We got a decent boost of damage for those things. As well as a little bit of heal. See, I don't think these are the monsters you're talking about. You're talking about a different set of monsters, right? Oh! Oh, if it's glowing orange, that means there's a, there's a trait around these things. I see. I see. Well, that's good to know. That's good to know. So I don't have to, like, grab everything if I, if I can see that. But I do it anyway early game just because I can just because I can powder or nectar let's go for nectar we really don't have a whole lot of that so might as well start That's a lot of plant juice. That's a lot of plant juice. I hope I have enough plant juice, though. Mm, rocks? Nope. Hey, some crimson cores. We need lots of crimson cores. I think I will ignore the uni and the, the water for now. Oh, there is one thing I want to try, though, with the, the trees. You wouldn't think to use this, but apparently the the sickle gives something else from trees. Bark. Sure. 14 bark is pretty decent amount. Where are the enemies? I think they're, su think they're supposed to be around here somewhere? Oh! Wait, am I going the wrong way? Sir, where, where, where are these enemies you are talking about? I I do not see them. Report to the... Oh, I think I already... Oh, I already beat them up. Okay, I already beat them up. Okay, let me just gather really quick <laughs> since I'm here. Let me just gather. Uh, I, I, I need some extra materials. Always, always a good thing to have. I can use the hammer on this. Mushroom powder. That makes sense. That makes too much sense. Don't know what to use mushroom powder for, but it's there. No, I have used mushroom powder actually. Mushroom powder is not bad as an ingredient. Um, I feel like though, uh, mushroom powder is... Has a very maybe not rich taste is maybe rich taste is not the, the right word but has a very distinct taste but once you actually put it in like soup or something like that it you don't really taste it as much um, but you do feel the effects of mushroom powder I feel like it makes you a little bit more energetic or maybe that's just me I'm not entirely sure oh we can get bugs. Right, we can use, we can get bugs from, from plants and stuff. I think we got enough uh, the plant juice, so I guess it's bug catching time. Can I go further up this way? I do see some plants, so more bugs, more ants. I should get the other logs. Okay, still can't go too far. Oh, I saw a shining thing. That means you're gonna get turned into powder. Alright, so I guess we can go back. So we're still missing a couple of treasure in the islands. Yeah, we'll figure that out when, when we get there. Seeing your struggles and such. Okay, so let's go turn in our quest really quick. 
So I think Agatha was asking for two swords, so we'll give her the two swords. Yep. ご注文の品。思ったより立派なものを作ってくれたな。ありがとう。これが報酬だ。毎度あり。毎度あり。結構切れるから気をつけてね。あ、これをしっかり扱える程度には鍛えるよ。いや、ライザー。見てたよ。
ready, Liza? I need cotton. Where can I get find cotton? Hello. Tadaima. Kochi no hou wa dou? Ah. Kochi wa itsumo douri da yo. Yeah, where does Liza live now? I'm not thinking about it. Maybe she still lives at home. That's right. Mom, what is it? <laughs> she worried about something. What is it, Mom? I'm sorry. Liza, I have a request for one thing. I'm afraid of the morgue being destroyed in the past. それくらいならいくらでも直せると思うよなんなら変形して多機能化とかやってみる余計なことはせずに修理だけ頼むよ<笑><笑> Don't do anything crazy with it なら軽くて頑丈くらいにしますか一っ走りアトリエに戻ってお母さんどうかしたえいや I guess she just misses you. She just misses you. Dad, what was the follow up? I don't know what the follow up was about. It's like I know, I know, I know dad was trying to help mom out there. I wasn't sure how that was supposed to help her out there. Because if, if she, if he wanted, uh, if he wanted Ryza to stay over for. For dinner or something, he 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 should have hinted along some, along those lines. I don't think he did though. Oh, we get different bugs here. Interesting. Oh, I want to really gather more, but I should stop soon. It's getting pretty late. I need some time to wind down for the day. Let's go. I'm gonna find a few more bushes really quick before <laughs> before I do that. At least now I have a fishing rod, so I can like grab um, so I can grab like fish anytime if I need it for ingredients and stuff. But bugs are a little harder to to find. You gotta find bushes for them, and different bugs live in different bushes. Like this one has the grasshoppers. Oh. I I guess the sickle also get lettuce? Lettuce? From a bush? So we're getting random stuff and we're getting lettuce as one of them. I mean the the the, the grasshopper makes some sense, but the lettuce um the lettuce is a little different. Yeah, anything new here? Yeah, that's a lot of bark. I think we got enough bark for a while. Got enough bark for a while. Ah, uh, I just need a bush. Actually, no, let me double check how much I just got. Okay, let's just start winding down for today. No, 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 don't, no discard, no discard, no discard. Oh, also, no. I was about to say, did I make sure I equipped the, the armor? I'm pretty sure I did. So we got some lettuce, all right. We got some grasshoppers, which looks a little different from the grasshoppers I know. This thing's got helmets on it. It's ready for battle, whatever kind of battle. Oh, here's the broken, here's the broken farm equipment. Okay, just in the vicinity, nothing. Okay, dog, you got anything for me, dog? Uni, Uni's the. Um, the last thing I needed. I can I I, I got uni everywhere. Got uni everywhere. Okay, where can I get the Where is the um Did I run out of a uh, cotton? I think I have like a small stack of cotton, that's why I can't find it that easily. Oh here no, that's that's town on Cotton. I just need cotton. Let me find some cotton really quick. Where can I find cotton? No, 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 don't discard, don't discard. I, I, I just need information. Uh, 
goat pasture. Oh, it's probably in the... Oh, I think I know where that is. Okay. Quick visit to the goat pasture. Really quick. Should be... Goat pasture. We just need to use a different... We just need to use a different... No. It's all the same. It's all the same. There's gotta, there's gotta be some cotton around here that I can pick up. Unless it's not a high enough, my sickle's not a high enough level yet for this, which would make some sense. There's gotta be some cotton somewhere. All right, I'm convinced that there's no cotton left here, so. Should be winding down soon. I should be winding down soon, but cotton. I I I I need to find cotton. Goat pasture, steeple reservoir, which is which can be anywhere. Sunken residence, flower ring. So maybe the flower ring has some cotton there. That's probably a better. It's probably a better chance to find cotton there than here. Because this is like mostly wheat. Oh. Here's a bush. It's probably in this. It's probably in this bush. It's not in this bush. It's not in that bush. Goat, what do you want? I got nothing for you. Okay, really quick. Where is the? Oh, it's up here. It's up here. Fairy stone lighthouse. That's not it, right? I guess it might be it. Let's try here. That's the lighthouse. That's the lighthouse. That's not the... Probably not the place I'm looking for. I just want some cotton. I'm running low and I'm gonna need a lot of threads. No, 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 no. Flower ring. Okay, I guess the flower ring is the next best spot. Let's go to the flower ring. Because I can't imagine there being any cotton around here. There's a lot of flowers, but no cotton. No cotton. Pixie forest. Uh, flower ring. So these are all pickups. These are all special. Ah, crap. You want to fight? Hold up. Give me a second. Give me a second. Crap. Ah, oh, you got me. <laughs> hey, Tao. You okay? Oh, crap. You were attacking me from behind. That is sneaky! These things are very sneaky. There was some fighting going off on the side. I couldn't even tell what was going on. Huni? Huni! Ooh, guarded. Green Pony, and it's strong. I guess I, could, I need to get, get, have him go, go aggro. Nice. Where's the rest of them? I, oh, the, oh, you guys are, you guys are low. You guys are low. <laughs> It, they took a lot of damage. It took way too much damage. I'm looking for cotton. I just need some cotton to end the day with. I guess I'm not getting cotton anytime soon. All right, fine. I guess we'll be we'll get cotton another time. I'm just too fixated on getting cotton. Some oh, there's a butterfly. There's a butterfly. But that's not a butterfly, that, that, that's a ladybug. 
I saw a butterfly, but I got a ladybug instead. What's up with that? Game, please. Please. Alright, I think that's gonna do it for now. Let's so save really quick and, uh, of course, a save point. Here we go. Also, I think we can go change our outfit. I Let me see what we got right now. Summer outfit is just her with a, without the coat. I mean, it is breezier, but I don't think that's very summerish. Also, her shorts have gone through a lot of change throughout the three games. It, I'm, I'm almost certain it's the same pair of shorts. Just modified. This oddly fits her. This oddly fits her. I am actually surprised. The Sophie outfit fits Ryza. But... <laughs> This is a this this ain't this ain't a this ain't a Sophie game, but it it actually fits her really really well. Maybe she maybe maybe just fits her regardless. Okay, so coat on coat off, dandy style. Coat on coat off. You're just taking layers off. <laughs> You're just taking layers off. Anyway, I'm gonna end here for today. I need to wrap it up and. Um, get ready for tomorrow so thank you all for coming thank you for watching uh we went quite a bit today and not a whole lot as far as story uh, goes but that's just kind of um that's just kind of how it happens uh whenever i st stream at atelier games if it has exploration we'll explore quite a bit uh like especially what we did today uh if there's alchemy to be done expect expect a minimum of one hour of alchemy because that's it just takes that long <laughs> It really just takes that long, but also part of it is uh, just me, just me uh, being hyper fixated on certain things. I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, we'll be continuing this again next week. I think we'll do this. I think we'll do the game uh, once a week. I kind of want to do it twice a week, but I think for this one we can we can take our time with with this one. So we'll probably do once a week of Ryza. Uh, until we can complete it. So, thank you all for coming, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it and have not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider dropping a, a sub. Otherwise, hit that like button, and that really helps uh, with the video. Until then, until next time, I'll see you all. Have a good rest of your day, everyone. Get some rest. Bye-bye.